having positive relationships and having people that you can connect with. That's a big reason why I decided to come. They're going to treat you as family. I didn't want to just be like lost in the crowd someplace. I wanted to make connections with people. People, there's so many reasons why I chose CMCC. Everybody here has your best interest at heart. CM is such a close-knit college that they actually do care about you being successful. When I went from high school to college, I was extremely nervous. Once I got here and realized what it was like, it's a lot of fun. From the moment I started correspondence with CMCC, they were just always checking up on me. It clearly lined out for me what I needed to do to get here. The college is really committed to making sure to stay on top of the latest technology. The instructors here, they're so passionate about what they do. There's a great student-teacher ratio. I wasn't just a number in the crowd. They work really well on a one-on-one -on -one basis with the students to make sure you understand the material. I didn't want to go into debt when I went to college. I've saved thousands of dollars. Campus is great. Everything is right here, so it's easy. I mean, it's a small campus, so they always have activities for us to do. I've never been part of a team like this before. You just come together on and off the court. That's what really pushes CM over the top of everybody else. Anybody that steps foot on this campus won't want to go anywhere else. It's a great place to go to get your start and to determine where you'd like to go in the future. I can easily transfer credits to any college of my choice. If you have a good foundation like Central Maine Community College gives you, you can really go anywhere with it. My whole experience here has just been building up my confidence. For me, this is my place. This is my home. It's one of the greatest decisions I ever made. When I walked through these doors, I was just blown away. This is insane. It just caught my attention immediately. This is the first place that I've seen like this decked out. It's pretty sweet. This is a grand opening for our eSports arena. We're talking 1,600 square feet of pure technology. Like, I'm shaking being here. It's so cool. There's nothing like it in Maine. We're ahead of the curve here. It's definitely a big market, something you can make a living on. I've always had an interest in eSports. So we're treating it like an extension of our athletic program. And then in addition to that, we're starting an eSports management degree program. It's just a different community for me to be a part of. It really just helps me just be myself. It's just really fun. This will bring students together. That's what's happening, and that's what eSports is. To me, it's beautiful, and I want to live here. I practice me and him when we're matched up against each other. We just make each other better, and I love playing with that kid. He, he's the most—he's one of the most unselfish players. Three is with Noel, and Noel won that. Hank into space. Blew it. Shoots. That's deflected and put toward goal. The flag stays down, and it's one nil. Yeah, I mean, it was incredible. Uh, I spent two years here. Um, when I came in, uh, Matt Biot had just got the head coaching job, and, you know, he was uh, really trying to turn the program around, and it was awesome to be able to see that grow throughout that two years that, you know, he was able to lay that foundation on, and, um, you know, it was everything you could have asked for here. I mean, the school treats the players awesome, you know, and um, the facilities, just amazing, top notch, so. Um, you know, I loved my time here and, um, you know, recommend it to anyone, really. I mean, top-notch program, yep.
Yeah, I'd say we all got along really great, um, really fast. Um, like just from the first week that we all got here, I think uh, everybody was able to mesh well, and then. area it got all the way through Johnson was close now played in the middle and a shot up high for a goal it's Nonowitz just 36 seconds into this second half Allison Nonowitz has doubled the lead for the Mustangs well that's the stat Mustangs were looking no, all the for props right in the world are the guys on the bench you know, from people that just came out, people that may not be playing that much. I mean, when you when you got 12 guys out on the court, you need high fives and you make a simple play like that. It uh, it feels good. It's a, it's a good team feel, not just an individual feel. feels like home. It's a diverse place. I learned a lot here. It really is like that perfect stepping stone and TRIO even articulates that more so. TRIO is a government funded program that has tons of resources. They help you with real life problems. If you didn't know how to write a resume when coming here, TRIO will help you do that and they'll help you apply for scholarships. Time management, they helped me to find a mentor for my business classes. I took statistics over the summer, and if it wasn't for one of the tutors at Trail that helped me, I don't think I would have passed. There's a student services office. It says the Success Center. It's kind of like the hidden gem in the school. All the advisors are there. Really, any time, you can just pop right in, say hi, or you can make an appointment. I want to be a labor and delivery nurse to create my own business. That is my goal. I would love to start my own clothing store. My dream is to be a chiropractor. It's not easy to be in college, and I need someone to say, hey, you can do this. Once I got into the nursing program, I went straight to TRIO. I told Terry, I just got accepted, I'm crying, and she was there to celebrate with me. And they push you to succeed. They understand me, support me, and encourage me to do better. Yeah, for me, Trio is a family. I'm just very grateful for Trio because their tutoring program really helped me out throughout my college journey. They have so many resources. You have your advisor, you have all that tutoring. It's free, anyone can apply. If you don't apply, you don't know what it has for you. They've helped me so much just being here. I mean, it's awesome. It's, it's unlike anywhere I've ever really played before. When you're this close, uh, when you're this close to the court, not a lot of college courts, especially, are like that. But uh, no, I mean, it's awesome when you get to turn around after you hit a three and you're close enough to give uh, the guys on the bench high fives, or turn around and look at your buddies in the stands and give them high fives. So it's a good feeling when you hit one right in front of either one of those. When I go in, I just want to do whatever I can to help us as a team. The better that I work with everybody else, the more that um, you can see it on the scoreboard. Um, I mean, we all flow together, so whoever's hot, we just try to give them the ball. And I'm, we're a family, so, you know, if someone's hot, we give them the ball, and they're going to do their thing. And if they don't have it, the ball's always going to come back around. That's always that's what you got to think. And we're all here to win, so, I mean, one prize, you know?
it's just about being a team player. My job is my energy off the bench and my aggressiveness on defense and offense, so I did with that today. Goal headed away by the Knights. Isidoro Dominguez played outside. Atwood, shot, goal! That was not Atwood, it was 20 not 2. Sasha Bruno kissed that off the underside of the crossbar. And it's 2 0. A goal in the six minutes. So, two early goals for Central Maine. And Sasha Bruno has his first. It's all about chemistry and gelling and playing together. By such tremendous young young women is just really warms warms my heart you know uh, I'm just very lucky to just be associated with them and can't wait to see all the things that they accomplish over the next five or ten years of their life because when you come to CM it's, it's more than just showing up here and you're on the team and then you leave here and gone and we we're in this together for life you know uh, and uh, that's something we take very seriously here so I just look forward to watching them all grow and become stuff that they once thought they were never capable of being with us, I saw my family walk in, so oh, I had that's that, you know, just walked over there. Yeah. Yeah, we, we're strong on family here. Like, I look at all these, all my teammates as my brothers. And that's how we carry ourselves on and off the court. You heard about free college? It's free. It's free. It's free. Recent high school graduates from the classes of 2020, 21, 22, and 23 can attend CMCC for free. The free college scholarship pays two years of tuition and mandatory fees. No income or age limits. What are you waiting for? It's free. We welcome you to Kirk Hall on the campus of Central Maine Community College as Munson Media kicks off coverage of the winter season. Men's basketball tonight, a preseason game against Lee Academy for the Mustangs. The Lee Academy Panthers travel down from northern Maine today. Arrived about 45 minutes before game time. And uh, we'll be set just about for a 5 o'clock tip-off. So things working out very well. Good day to travel. This is the JV contest, uh, what the Pandas call their national team as compared to their international team. So we're gonna make a last minute scramble as the Panthers are in their just practice jerseys today. Mustangs in their white home jerseys. 
Jonah Mincy in for the Mustangs in the circle to jump. They're coached by Jared Rubin. And we're set to go. Glad mm -hmm. you could join us here as kickoff to we haven't even finished the fall season but we're in the winter <laughs> season there's quite a bit of overlap here of course as basketball starts pretty early here in the YSCC kids have been practicing for a while and uh, they're going over some last second details it looks like here yeah, I'm not sure what the discussion is they're getting these trying to get the clock up right now or uh, there we go there we go had to set the shot clock game. shot clock had to be set yeah, for there we go 30 so we're that getting is. set to go here Good to go. So this is an opportunity for the JVs to get a game streamed, and that's uh, part of the reason that Coach Dave Gagne wanted to do that. Mincy yes, sir. won't win the... Secondary. It'll come back to... The Panthers are rolling around here. It's going to take us a bit. We had their original numbers and realized just before the game they were in practice uniform. So it might take a couple of rotations there to get everybody down as they're not in America water. Damore from outside will put it up. Rebound pulled down by Warren. One, two, two. One, two, two. One, two, two. Nice move in underneath and finished by Beal. Damon yeah. Beal, the basket. Hey, great recognition there of that trap zone, full, full court trap. Rob from CM able to break that. Aiden Jefferson, number four, will roll through the numbers here for your Mustangs. Castudio. Mincy holds outside. Big man wants to go on the baseline, kicks it back out around. And underneath. Well done. Good look. Good feed. And Jonah Mincy for two. Yeah, nice job by Mincy working that high post and working himself down to the low one off of the opposite box. Dante DeMoore took it hard to the rack, got fouled. Making sure we're getting out on Facebook here. And everything looks fine. So we welcome you on board. Mustangs up early, 4-0. This is the first of two games tonight. This is the JV game against the national squad for Lee Academy. Illegal screen called there. Hey, look at me. Quick timeout. Well, I want to congratulate the fall athletic teams. Boy, what a fall it's been. We'll have uh, softball, the final softball games tomorrow. But uh, you saw a sweep of the Seawolves this week in men's and women's soccer by identical 4 nil scores. Played through some rain yesterday. We had to shut down the feed for a bit of time. That was quite an adventure, Nate. You're probably glad you weren't on that one. <laughs> we had to pull all the equipment back, and Aspen, who was doing our camera here today, had to pull the camera back out of the rain. She did a great job keeping everything dry. And when the sun came back out, Mustangs went to work at three more goals in the second half to win it 4 0. Volleyball team, regular season, YSCC champions as well. They'll be heading off in the postseason play. So really successful. And as we said, we'll have softball tomorrow. Baseball's been going on. Baseball's away today, I believe, at NHTI. Watch that one, Dante. Watch that ring, Dante. Custodio yes, yes. almost lost it. Yes. Got the save into Mincy. Mincy gets triple team. Good look underneath. He was finding Beal. Beal up. No. Pandas go. Good defense by Mincy underneath. Shut it down. They'll get it back outside. 
Manor Akiza, number 15. And he's gonna lose it, but he's fouled. We'll have all the basketball action all winter. Here from Kurakal. A little warm up for us too, get everything set to go. We'll have the end zone cameras up for regular season play. Not able to get in and get those done. Takes us a little bit of time. We'll have to have some pre planning on that. Manor Akiza. Laid it off and good, tough, hard nose finish by Tom Sauten. Yeah, I like that jab step at the top of the key, Rob. Got the defender going one direction, was able to get the blow by on the right. Studio goes baseline, get cut off. Yes, Six two Mustangs. Good half court execution so far by the Mustangs. Pretty good offense that we're seeing yes. here out the gate. Large numbers, steal. Comes Kelson, got it ahead, nice feed ahead, reverse foul. That'll draw shots. So Damon Beal. Yeah, Beal with the tough angle down underneath, Rob. If he lets that kind of continue a little bit further, it gives him better angle off the backboard. Damon Beal from Beal's Island. That great basketball hotbed in the state of Maine. Jonesport Beal's for many, many years. Perennial contenders. Destin in number 22 for the Mustangs. Changes all around. We've got some other guys in. Johansson in 15. Chase Mayhart also in the game for your Mustangs. Abdulli in. And underneath, they'll make it kicked outside and get a turnover. They get out to Sauten, but not before the whistle. 8-2. Yeah. Changes pivot feet there. Comes the pressure. Johansson, they'll kick it back. Comes Mayot. Mayot went left side. Kept alive underneath. Kicked out. They'll reset the offense. Mayhart into the corner. Pop rebound. Three is good. Chase Mayhart knocked down the three. We're going to get a timeout. We'll get timeout on the floor. We'll take the timeout as well. We'll come back more basketball after this. Coaches know you can't win a game without proper planning and execution. Let Gosline Retirement Planning coach you into a confident retirement. Here at Gosline Retirement, we provide that proper planning and help you utilize a step-by-step -step approach on all facets of your retirement planning. We provide guidance on income planning, wealth management, understanding taxation, Medicare and long-term care, and legacy and estate planning. We pride ourselves on working hard for those who have worked hard their entire lives. So, schedule your appointment today and let the team at Gosline Retirement Planning put together a retirement game plan for you. Back after the timeout, just missed on the finish. Kick back outside. Mayhart got right side now. This is Johansson. Kick. Mayot going to be short on that one. Kept alive underneath. Banging hard is Grenier. But he couldn't come down with it. Like to see that effort. Those shots, Rob, early in the season. In, in traffic, trying to fight through a bunch of arms. Those, those are tough to get the right, the amount of uh, touch on them. But you'd like to see the effort to work down underneath, get those rebounds. I think I quickly counted 17 on on the JV roster for the Mustangs. That's a 
yeah, good, good healthy roster yeah. for Coach Rubin to work through. And you can see he's got some got some quick kids. Saw that with uh, Mayot chase a quick ball handler. Chase played high school at Lisbon, so he's right down the road. Tough spot, good trap here by the Pandas. Well executed. Got the reversal, did the Mustangs, got it back out, but they're in the same spot again. Got the same help. That was a good job by Grenier coming over to help out. Right side. Mayotte. Quickly to the corner. Hard to see. We're blocked. We're blocked on those uh, corner shots and uh, not able to see anything. Kick back outside. Shot from the corner. Didn't draw Ryan. Mayotte. Cookie dribbles down and kicks it back outside. Head and shoulder fake, nicely done. A little strong on the shot was Johansson. Dante Demore. Twenty. Hey, Detroit, good bucket, boy. Yo, let's hey, knock on the free throws. 20. Maybe you're checking in, take a seat. Coach Wynn, yeah. Otherwise, we get blocked Come out, on, Coach. Come on, come on. Thank you. <laughs> you probably knew to have someone call games for him, weren't they? What's that? They probably knew to have someone call games for him. Yeah, I don't know. What the, I'm sure they stream up there, but you don't see many like we are right down on the floor. Exactly, and, yeah. And of course, kids want to check in right here. and you, <laughs> If you get two or three of them, you got a picket fence. You can't. You can't see anything. Hey, yo, let's get another stop. Minera Kizza. Chops the lead in half, 10 5. That's outside. Shane Johansson, 34. In the game, just got a touch. Coach going a lot of kids. Langsy in as well. Cameron, Cameron uh, Langes out of Auburn. Inbound. Left handed, dropped home. Good follow by Cameron there. He stayed right with it. Langes, his first basket of the game. No live stats today, so we won't have uh, scoring stats as. Everybody's just kind of getting back into the rhythm of things here, all the way across. Kick back outside and got a three second violation call. Thanks everybody tuning in. Glad we could bring the JVs to you. That's one of the priorities uh, Coach Gagne talked about. Wanted to make sure we get a game on and when he he said yesterday, he says, we all set for tomorrow night. And uh, <laughs> it wasn't a game that I was anticipating that we were doing. But uh, as Coach explained, he said, I want to make sure these JVs get on and their families get a chance to see them as well. So here we are. <laughs> we'll have two. 12-5. That's going to be a foul on the call. And... That's why you do what you do, boy. Go bucket. Then Rakiza knocked it home, and he's going to get some shots here. Yeah, you can tell, Rob, that they're off, and everything runs through him for, yeah. for the Pandas. So they certainly want to get him going. This is one of those things, a big motivating, you know, uh, momentum swing. You hit that one from the corner, get the foul, and make the four-point. Uh, almost has a four-point play. Rebound, dribbling out of trouble. Johansson, Shane Johansson. Kick back outside, now into the post. Langus went up, no, he got fouled, but he's there. He's tenacious, left-handed, went up twice, couldn't get it, still loose. Tipped ahead. Yes, boy, go, Trey. And... 
a tumble and a half. Man, or a kizzle went down in a heap. So if you're watching from Lee Academy, just want to let you know, they're wearing their practice shirts tonight. So if you had a roster at home uh, that you might have got offline. So they were good enough to get us the uh, practice jersey number. So we think we have the identifications all correct. It was a mad scramble, I have mm. to tell you. <laughs> or, or they could all just be wrong. <laughs> we, yeah. we don't know. <laughs> yeah, you know, everybody's scrambling at the beginning of the season there to get things. I want to thank the coaching staff, sent a roster down to Dave. Dave sent along to me, and then they got in and said, oh, geez, we, we don't have game shirts. I'm not sure what the uh, Panda International team will do tonight, so we'll check that uh, between games, see what, see what happens there. 12.33 left, first half action. Rob Munzing, Nate Munzing here for the call of Mustang Basketball. Jim Toomey traveling this weekend. He'll be the voice of Mustang get Basketball. Mincy back in. Mincy grabs, grabs that board. Castudio running the show outside. They'll come in high to Mincy. Mincy thought about going. Now he does. Got it back. Nice job. Now an extra pass underneath. Pretty. Pretty down finish. How about the big man, Mincy, being able to yeah. dish the dime a little bit, huh? Well, Jonah played some time with the Varsity last year. and You know, it's still a, a case, you know, you, you you can play your way back up as uh, happens with injuries and things that uh, happened during the course of the season. So Jonah working hard here. I mean, one, one of the things, too, if you're Coach Gagne, Rob, I mean, you, Minutes are just going to make you better. So yeah. I think having him come in and play right now, uh, trying to develop a little bit, I think that's a, that's a great move. You can tell there's a, there's a big difference for CM when he's on the court and off the court. Okay, Lord Masto going to check in. Number 21 for the Pandas. Hey, Blue, we need a stop. We need a stop, Blue, after this. We need to stop. Drop. Coach Ready. Noah Drayton, you may be hearing him for the Pandas in the background here. Very enthusiastic, very positive. Mincy downshift gets it left side, the pop outside. Long one for Warren. Out of bounds. Run it, Dante. Run your set. Oh, great pass there. That was to Mastin, and he got fouled. Masto, I'm sorry. S-T-E-A-U. Well, we got quite a few people watching online. We're very thankful for that, for all folks out in Mustangville. Yeah, a little preseason basketball. Yeah. This is an annual affair, these two clubs getting after it. The studio. Kick to the corner. Mincy going to travel. Yeah, you can tell he's trying to get that ball down, Rob. And, and I think the vendor came over, got into his space a little bit, wasn't able to put the dribble down and shuffled his feet. Demore. Minera Kizza. Fancy move, put it up and drawing the charge for the Mustangs. Good call. So far, I'm really impressed by the officiating here early yeah. on in this one, it being a preseason game and everything. And Kelson stepped right in. They value those charges that they take here in the program, both the, the men and the women's teams. A lot going on campus. A lot of teams that normally support each other uh, playing or practicing uh, right now. The I know the women's soccer team practiced earlier today, I think, right? Yep. Yeah. Aspen's nodding at me. Fourteen eleven. Good tilt going on here. First half action about halfway through this first half. We'll have the international team for the Pandas and the Varsity squad for CM going after it. 7 o'clock start. I think what I did, Nate, is uh, 
We didn't make two separate games. We made one one stream. So this stream is just going to continue. We'll play the uh, Mustangs highlights uh, between games with yep. a nice little reel that uh, Coach Gagne had put together really highlights a lot of stuff that's going on here at the school. Mency kicks it back out. Patient offense. Pop in the paint. No, Mency keeps it alive. Mency couldn't get it to drop home. More board banging by the Mustangs. <laughs> Gonna stay Mustangs. I don't know if I've seen that many attempts wow. before. They started, uh, Rob, they were almost playing defense on one another on yeah. that one. There, was, there were no pandas <laughs> down underneath. It was just the CM guys tipping the ball from yeah. one to yeah. the other. Damon Beal, one of the guys, and they had several touches. And Mency, of course. And that was a, a funny look. And, and in, some, in some of those situations, you don't, all you do is feel a presence. Yeah. You don't know who it is. Right, so you're, right. you're just trying to get it back up there because you know, oh, that could be a defender. Abdullahi back in, number 20. He was effective when he came in. He's a good leaper. No, 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 no. Thank you. Oh, net popped outside. Chase Mayhot. Waiting for the three ball to come. They're playing this zone, this trap zone out on the perimeter, and the ball's been getting entered down underneath. But that one, they were a little lax, Rob, able to get it up. Nice shot. And Mayhot came flying off it, and... DeMore missed and rebound coming back. Mayon. Right side held. Joe Hansen. Got it back. Kicked in underneath. Jefferson rolls it home. Ooh, I like that. That nice Aiden spin move. Jefferson. Nice spin move in traffic. Well, the other thing that's going to be great. Uh, uh, for Coach uh, Rubin is to be able to go back and watch this and, yeah. and really use this as an instructional tape. Pandas with the steal. Pop from the corner. It's good. Dante Damoa. 19-14. Pretty well played game as far as Turnovers are concerned. I'm really impressed Teams so far. Handling the ball, both of them. Yeah, and the intensity is way up here. This does not feel like just a, a lax days ago preseason kind of feel it out right. kind of game. I agree with you. Destin back outside. May have thought about it. But now he's going to get some help. Shot clock at three. So in the way. Mayot picks his pocket. Jazokas got picked. Jefferson took a little extra to go to the hole and got called on the travel. 1914. Coach Rubens says, slow down. Slow down. Yeah, you get, you get a little too cute on those. Make an extra pass. Doesn't necessarily need it. Got the entry in. Here comes the more with it. Got Jefferson on him. I'm going to roll it around here left side. A spinning steal that turns into a travel. I was that, that's a tough one to call. If you're yeah, spinning, are you are you technically traveling? Yeah, I don't know. Do you have possession? I mean, I guess you are. That's okay. I don't know. That's a tough one. Mackenzie Destin with a good hustle play. He'll kick it back outside. Demore. They'll let that one go and play, and he got a foot on it. So after the loss of possession, tried to kick it away from. The yeah, Mustang. not not a bad idea, yeah. Rob. It's kind of it stops play. You it can't did. you can't have the fast break out the other end. So it's not you know it's not a foul against you. It's just stoppage. Jefferson with the rebound. Good job inside in traffic. Might have got bumped. A no call, Aiden Jefferson. Been effective inside. Popped outside. No. Abdullari. Still got it. I thought he lost it. 
<laughs> Halfway it, down. Kicked it back outside for three. Good fast break and finished by Vaca. Emilio Vaca. Makes it a three point lead. Trying to drill it underneath to Aiden Jefferson, but tough one to handle. Got tipped anyway. Mincy back in. The studio back in. Make sure we get that pronunciation right at uh, halftime. We'll check that one out. Come the Mustangs. Aguilari. Backs in. Kicks out for two. Game of three? I is that Mayard again? I was, yeah, it was. was 13, Mayard. Yeah, they, they should set him up as much as they yeah, can. He's hot right now. He's got a couple of threes in the game. Two or three threes. Like we said, no live stats tonight. We'll have those as right. steals. Jefferson. Jefferson. Jefferson down the left side. Goes up, got a block. Ooh. It was a good block and tough call. Jacocus. Yeah, that looked good, Rob. It, looked, it doesn't look like there was any body contact. We'll have replay up and going for the varsity game here tonight. Tom, hey, you're going to be the four. Take out Tom. 22-16. That's the way the things have been going back and forth pretty much. Six points to three points. Hey, way to play, boy. Yo. Jefferson going to get a second one here. Hop, step, play out two. Let them come up and then dump it off. That's your bread and butter. Hey, guys, come in two. Go get a bucket. Go get a bucket. That's what you do, boy. Go get a bucket. Got them both. Good free throw shooting. 24-16, Mustangs. 6-13 left. Been fast paced, not many timeouts. I don't think Play your game, Brandon. any more than one. That's a three if it went, but it didn't. Jefferson ahead. Abdullah floats and home. 26 16, now a 10 point lead. It was on the three, seven point run for the Mustangs. Coach Rubin liking what he's seeing. They've stepped up on the D, and there it is again. Yeah, switch over to a 3-2 kind of zone, Rob. Drilled underneath. Here comes Mincy on the baseline. He'll going to stop, pop, and a little bump from behind. And Aiden Jefferson will draw the personal foul. Nobody in any type of foul trouble. Looks like the kids from the international team went out to grab a bite to eat. They got the... Quite a drive down from Lee. So that 2-3 has been effective. Good check out. Mustangs want to go. On the gallop, Castudio. Kicks it back around. Jefferson, Abdullahi. To the corner, Mincy. Throws it back inside, back outside. And pop outside, didn't draw anything by Casudio. Nice dish off to Mincy. Mincy can't get it to go. But it was a good look. Yeah, a couple of, look, couple of good looks in that offense possession. Jazukas, the rebound good comes shot. back outside. I like that look. Again. Waste that one. All boards, Mincy. Jefferson, good hustle back defense, got back in the passing lane, did Masto. Three wouldn't go. Stays a 10 point lead for the Mustangs. Step up defense now by the Pandas. Kicked in the corner, an open look. All that, drilled home. Nice look there by Colbroth. His first three of the game. 29-16. We'll take a break. We'll come back. We'll finish first half action after this. Same thing as always. Protect the front of the net. 
to make you what you are. Zero, today. three, one, two, three. Zero. Okay, let's go. One, two, three. Sit right here. Awesome. Point nine sixteen. Mustangs have been in gallop mode here. Remember, nineteen sixteen. It got down to three points. Shut down to three. Let's go. Ten point run for your Mustangs. Also, welcome in all the Panda fans that are watching here. You're getting a chance to see your kids play. Rare opportunity to bring you the JVs, and this is a good club coach. Rubens put together. He's does a terrific job. I've seen a lot of his practices. Lots of times he'll come into practice after uh, we're done streaming. Boy, he really communicates to the kids well, and uh, they really like playing for him. You can see how hard they're playing for him, and that's a, that's always a judge of a, of a coach. Adulari wants a downshift. He does, and wants to take it through the wall out in the parking lot. <laughs> One. Fouls on to Moore, his first. Both teams had eight fouls. So we'll have a lot of basketball action coming up here. Good left handed take. We do some of the preseason games, not all of them. Sometimes there's other games going on that we're covering on campus. There was nothing else going on tonight, so. When it worked out, the coach said, hey, do you think you can do a game Friday night? I said, yeah, we do it. Minarakiza knocked one home, one of his baskets. He was hot earlier. One little cold, that's going to drop out of bounds. So a reminder to college basketball fans. Of course, we'll be doing all the Mustangs men's and women's game as well as our good friends up at the University of Maine at Augusta. We'll have all the Moose games from the Augusta Civic Center as well as when they play home games here. So we're going to have a full schedule of YSCC basketball. Another exciting year of covering basketball and we're very proud of the effort that we put into it. We'll have three cameras down here in Mustangville for regular season play. Dropped inside. Halfway down and out. Boy, CM still getting a lot of those good looks, Rob. They just can't get that. That little, uh, that close one to fall for him so far. That was Castrudi with a good look. Good post play, good follow. Couldn't get either end of it. Yeah. Beal. Beal. I feel as though he's rushing that a little bit, Rob. I think he doesn't, he's, he's got a big advantage down underneath. Yeah. He's just got to take his time. It's an it. early season thing, isn't exactly. it? I mean, the, the bigs need to get their, their timing yeah. uh, down when the bodies are underneath. Exactly. You know, and to, to you know, kind of get that sixth sense when you feel where guys are. So you know where they, you know where they are, you know where you got to go, and you know the angle that you need to to make for the shot, and that all takes uh, yeah, especially repetition. At game speed, it's a whole different right. thing. You, exactly. you can't mimic it really in practice, right? And you're usually playing against your own teammates. You kind of understand really quickly after playing with you know your teammates for a while what they're good at, what they're bad at. When you come in and play a, a, an opponent that you don't really know, uh, it tends to get in your head a little bit. Point nine eighteen, we're one forty left, and a fast-moving affair here. Couldn't get the three in the corner. It's really, that's been the difference. It's been the three ball for CM has gone down, and for the Pandas, it hasn't. That was Minarakiza again. He's hit a couple of those. Brandon. That time, no. Yeah, Minarakiza's got three fouls, so he's. Uh, Gotta be a little careful, and I think is what they're saying, correct?
Langus in the game. He was really effective on the boards uh, when he went in earlier. Manu Kizza drops it home for two. Good player. I, I, great decision there, too, not to put the ball down on the court, let the defender get up on him. Mayhot, he's been hot outside. Panda's coming with their trap. And yeah, CM's got to recognize he's got to stay out of the corners against these uh, these pandas that are coming to try and get that trap. So far, done a pretty good job. I mean, they're up nine. Johansson then. At the minute mark. Stay with us at halftime. Show you some of the great programs here at Central Maine Community College. A dish inside. Langus was keeping it alive again. Came back outside. Held there. O'Neill. Joe Hansen. Mayot. Crossover. Beautifully done. Go home. Could have gone front side with it. Yeah. Uh, he's yeah. an undersized player and realized that. Trying to use the rim, you know, to help him by going underneath it, but he had an open look on that right side. Floater. Follow. Fouled on the follow. I love that, Dante. So Demore, free throws coming up, 25.1. Good thing is uh, we're tied into the game clock, so you'll see it count all the way down. There we go, Dante. Destin in, number 22. Yo, we're still in man. Been in a couple of times. We're Got still him. In man. We're still in man. So good little comeback. Seven point lead for the Mustangs. Shot clock off. Destin. Got trapped to get rid of it. Johansson. In the corner. In and out. So we'll walk all the way down here. Shoot free throws. Hey, guys, we need to crash the glass if you miss it. Not sure what they're going to do for halftime time. Let's go. You know, League Academy's got a long trip back. They may try to expedite things, and we'll try to see what they put up on the clock here at the half. Watch him. He's going to shoot it. He's going to come. He's going to come. Miss both. Three seconds. Johansson at the buzzer wouldn't go. So good half of basketball. You see the score 29 to 22. The Mustangs over the Pandas. We'll take a break. We'll come back. Second half action coming up here from Kirk Hall after these messages. As always, at the front of the net. Make you what you are. Jim, what you think? Yeah, we're strong on family here. Like, I look at all these, all my teammates as my brothers. And that's how we carry ourselves on and off the court. You heard about free college? It's free. It's free. It's free. Recent high school graduates from the classes of 2020, 21, 22, and 23 can attend CMCC for free. The free college scholarship pays two years of tuition and mandatory fees. No income or age limits. What are you waiting for? It's free. Leaving CM with no debt is going to set me up for my future. Visit cmcc.edu slash free for details. We'll save that for between innings. One out here. Is that pitch driven to left, and that one's going to be a track meet as the left fielder Wilcox will track that one down. Ducharme scores. McWinney scores. 
Hooker rounds third, and he will score. That'll go in as a three-run homer for Keith Hooker, and the Mustangs take a 5 nothing lead. find somewhere that you feel comfortable. Having positive relationships and having people that you can connect with. That's a big reason why I decided to come. They're going to treat you as family. I didn't want to just be like lost in the crowd someplace. I wanted to make connections with people. People, there's so many reasons why I chose CMCC. Everybody here has your best interest at heart. CM is such a close-knit college that they actually do care about you being successful. When I went from high school to college, I was extremely nervous. Once I got here and realized what it was like, it's a lot of fun. From the moment I started correspondence with CMCC, they were just always checking up on me. It clearly lined out for me what I needed to do to get here. The college is really committed to making sure to stay on top of the latest technology. The instructors here, they're so passionate about what they do. There's a great student-teacher ratio. I wasn't just a number in the crowd. They work really well on a one-on-one -on -one basis with the students to make sure you understand the material. I didn't want to go into debt when I went to college. I've saved thousands of dollars. Campus is great. Everything is right here, so it's easy. I mean, it's a small campus, so they always have activities for us to do. I've never been part of a team like this before. You just come together on and off the court. That's what really pushes CM over the top of everybody else. Anybody that steps foot on this campus won't want to go anywhere else. It's a great place to go to get your start and to determine where you'd like to go in the future. I can easily transfer credits to any college of my choice. If you have a good foundation like Central Maine Community College gives you, you can really go anywhere with it. My whole experience here has just been building up my confidence. For me, this is my place. This is my home. It's one of the greatest decisions I ever made. When I walked through these doors, I was just blown away. This is insane. It just caught my attention immediately. This is the first place that I've seen like this death down. It's pretty sweet. What's the grand opening for our esports arena? We're talking 1,600 square feet of pure technology. Like, I'm shaking being here. It's so cool. There's nothing like it in Maine. We're ahead of the curve here. It's definitely a big market, something you can make a living on. I've always had an interest in eSports. So we're treating it like an extension of our athletic program. And then in addition to that, we're starting an eSports management degree program. It's just a different community for me to be a part of. It really just helps me just be myself. It's just really fun. This will bring students together. That's what's happening, and that's what eSports is. To me, it's beautiful, and I want to live here. I practice me and him when we're matched up against each other. We just make each other better, and I love playing with that kid. He, he's the most, he's one of the most unselfish players. Three is with Noel, and Noel won that. Hank. Into space. Blew it. Shoots. That's deflected and put toward goal. The flag stays down, and it's 1 0. I mean, it was incredible. Uh, I spent two years here. Um, when I came in, uh, Matt Biot had just got the head coaching job, and you know he was uh, really trying to turn the program around. And it was awesome to be able to see that grow throughout that two years. That you know he was able to lay that foundation on, and um, you know it was everything 
you could have asked for here. I mean, the school treats the players awesome, you know, and um, the facilities just amazing, top notch. So, um, you know, I loved my time here. And, um, you know, recommend it to anyone, really. I mean, top notch program. Yep. Yeah, I'd say we all got along really great, um, really fast. Um, like, just from the first week that we all got here, I think uh, everybody was able to mesh well. And then... ...the area, Ooh. it got all the way through. Johnson was close. Now played in the middle. And a shot up high for a goal. It's Nonowitz. Just 36 seconds into this second half, Allison Nonowitz has doubled the lead for the Mustangs. Well, that's the start. Mustangs were looking no, all the for props right there. In the world of the guys on the bench, you know, from people that just came out, people that may not be playing that much. I mean, when you when you got 12 guys out on the court, you need high fives and you make a simple play like that. It, uh, it feels good. It's a, it's a good team feel, not just individual feel. It just feels like home. It's a diverse place. I learn a lot here. It really is like that perfect stepping stone and TRIO even articulates that more so. TRIO is a government funded program that has tons of resources. They help you with real life problems. If you didn't know how to write a resume when coming here, TRIO will help you do that and they'll help you apply for scholarships. Time management. They helped me to find a mentor for my business classes. I took statistics over the summer, and if it wasn't for one of the tutors at Trail that helped me, I don't think I would have passed. There's a student services office. It says the Success Center. It's kind of like the hidden gem in the school. All the advisors are there. It's really any time, you can just pop right in, say hi, or you can make an appointment. I want to be a labor and delivery nurse to create my own business. That is my goal. I would love to start my own clothing store. My dream is to be a chiropractor. It's not easy to be in college, and I need someone to say, hey, you can do this. Once I got into the nursing program, I went straight to TRIO. I told Terry, I just got accepted, I'm crying, and she was there to celebrate with me. And they push you to succeed. They understand me, support me, and encourage me to do better. Yeah, for me, TRIO is a family. I'm just very grateful for TRIO because their tutoring program really helped me out throughout my college journey. They have so many resources. You have your advisor, you have all that tutoring. It's free, anyone can apply. If you don't apply, you don't know what it has for you. They've helped me so much just being here. I mean, it's awesome. It's, it's unlike anywhere I've ever really played before. When you're this close, uh, when you're this close to the court, not a lot of college courts, especially, are like that. But uh, no, I mean, it's awesome when you get to turn around after you hit a three and you're close enough to give uh, the guys on the bench high fives, or turn around with your buddies in the stands and give them high fives. So it's a good feeling when you hit one right in front of either one of those. When I go in, I just want to do whatever I can to help us as a team. The better that I work with everybody else, the more that um, you can see it on the scoreboard. Twenty-nine, twenty-two. Panda's ball here to start. Second half of play. It's been a spirit of fear. I got to talk Dave Gagne a little bit at halftime. He was really pleased with the way Coach Rubin's team came out and played in the first half. And 
they're going to try to run a real viable, viable developmental program here, as they're calling it. Out of bounds. That'll be off blue. Pandas in. Strong take to the hole by Masto for two. Yeah, up and over the help side defense there too, Rob. Yeah, Gamor. Shut that down, Gamor. Oh, he had it. He should have just gone right to the basket. Yeah. Extra pass by Mincy. He's banging inside. Can't get it to fall. On the fly is Jazokas, but he got it stolen away. Yeah, just too much. Custodio. 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 That's how we're, we check that at halftime, and Kelson let us know it's Custodio. Yo, let's get a stop, boys. Like I said, put on the gas. Comes in to Mincy. They tried to go right back. Couldn't do it. Ball's loose. Custodio with it. Custodio through traffic. Weaves. Up. Doesn't finish. Fought for the rebound. And then white ball is... That one went off. Jazokas. Five point lead. Yes, nice look back door. In the corner, long shot there. I'm going to call that a pass. That was a perfect yeah, pass. <laughs> perfect pass. So, Giovanni Wong says, Give me an assist. <laughs> Welcome all our Mustang fans. If you're new to Mustang basketball, as I'm sure some of you have, we'll have all the. Varsity action. The take is going to count. Let's go, Brandon. Hey, Brandon. Now you do it. Now you do it. Let's go. Sometimes you got to make the money. Anna has been knocked down more times than you can imagine, but he bounces back up. Good player. Lee Academy located in Lee, Maine. Here from Central Maine, come on. You uh, come out. Take a left. Keep driving for a long time. <laughs> Go north. Good then to come down. I think they, next year, the Mustangs will visit Lee. They go back and forth. Back to a cut, couldn't get it to him. But Mincy downshifts underneath. Nice cut, nice finish. Boy, that was a pretty looking play all around the bigs. The big boys getting it done underneath here for the Mustangs. Yeah, great patience. The extra dribble really creating that shot. Stolen away. Custodio. Jefferson by accident goes up and home. And again, patience down underneath. Nice up fake. Aiden Jefferson on the finish. Custodio with the assist. 35-27. I run out of timeouts? I didn't run out of timeouts, right? Coach Drayton asking about timeouts. We'll give him a TV timeout if he needs it. <laughs> <laughs> streaming timeout. We'll give you a streaming timeout, Coach. And underneath. Can't stop him now. Mustangs came out... Was that Custodio? It was, yeah. Drive? Yeah, it got blocked. And Ten point lead. They want a timeout. We'll stay right here with it. Let you know that we got softball coming up tomorrow. I don't know if I updated the graphic there or not. Nate, you can try it there. It says next game. I don't know. Take a look at it. See if I updated it. It's probably listing this game. But the next games uh, we'll have here from Mustangville will be tomorrow, 12 o'clock, start noontime softball. CCRI coming into town. They're up from Rhode Island Community College of Rhode Island. Mustangs split with them earlier in the season down in Rhode Island. They're from the Providence, Rhode Island area. 
So we're looking for a good softball battle. That'll wrap up the women's fall softball season. So make sure you join Nate and me tomorrow. We'll be back down here bright and early. We can probably leave the equipment right here, Nate, overnight. Come down, get into Kirk Hall. Somebody will be practicing. We'll get in tomorrow morning and move it over to softball and set up and bring you two games. High school football action also tonight on Munson Media. It's the Gardner Tigers team we follow. We'll be playing the Skowhegan Riverhawks on Munson Media. Kicked in the corner. That 2-3 zone that was effective for Coach Rubin in the first half. They've come up with again, but looks like some adjustments made at halftime. And Dante Damore knocked down a three ball as they broke down that 2-3 zone. Yeah, you can tell. 3-2 zone. Yeah, the, the reaction of the, uh, the bench beside us here, Rob, you can tell that was the look that they wanted, that they were looking to get, so... A battle underneath. <laughs> Foul in the action. You're good. That's ours, though. We need that one, but that's, that's good. That's good. You know, that's a, one, one thing that we saw in the first half was that for the Pandas, that three ball wasn't going down. See if that changes up here in the second half, and they might be able to uh, chip away at this uh, seven-point lead. Hey. Abdullari will get a second one. Lead got up to 10. Now back to 7. 29-22. Seven-point lead at the half for the Mustangs. Eight-point lead now on the one out of two. Demore got in the corner. Three. Back to Demore. Demore. Looks to get it back. He does. He's got an open look. He's got a iron shot. Custodio with the rebound. Mincy. Jonah looking to give it out. Does. Abdullari. Back to Mincy. Kick back outside. Custodio ends up being a pass, and they'll take it again. They're just killing them right now on the boards, Rob. Offensive boards, second chance opportunities right now through the roof for CM. Custodio almost got stolen away. Controls the ball well. Custodio out of Houston, Texas. Might have got a piece of that one. Mayot, who shot well from outside, couldn't get that one, and I think it got deflected. Nice toss and nice finish. Shane Johansson. I'm sorry, wrong score sheet, Rob. It was Sukasa on the finish. Mincy thought about it. Thinks twice. Abdullari's going to go. Took it hard to the rack and. Drew the wrath of the defender, so he'll get two. One or two on his last turn. 38-32. 14-28. We'll have the men's game coming up the, uh, against the international team, the Vasity for the Mustangs. This is... Uh, you're watching the... Not the JVs, but the, what uh, they're, they're terming the uh, developmental team. Get ready, get ready again. You're going to be active. Get ready again. Sit right here. Shooter. And they're going to keep adding to underclassmen teams, Nate, here. I was talking to Dave about that. So many kids want to play athletics. That was online. Well, it, one of the things, too, you know, Rebound. along with what Coach Gagne here has done basketball, but for athletics in general, is, is developed out programs for just that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, main, main kids that can come here uh, and play a, a bunch of different sports, especially with the brand new athletic facility that they have out the door. You know, the, the squads are big. Baseball's got about 30 kids, yeah. I think. Good pass, boy. Hey, 
And Orkizzo again. Yes, Neil, yes, Neil. Levi Little in the game, number 14. Tried to tip it inside, got knocked away from Little. And a strong finish. Let's go. Back to back. Let's go, boys. Sukatsa. Almost a similar play to the to the one that uh, Sukasa had just a bit ago. This uh, won't roll in, but rebound is up, rolls out, rejected underneath. Good defense underneath by Beal, and now the take and finished by Jefferson. What a, Ooh, a lot what of a contact change, there too. Change that was. Foul call. Thirteen nineteen left here. Guys, if he makes it, run the steer. If he makes it, run the steer. Come on. If he makes it, you go all the way down. Mario, you go up after him. And Rakissa gets the second one. Masto came jumping out. He was all excited. <laughs> Coach was giving instructions. He wanted him to get back on D. <laughs> Get them both. And Rakiz, as I said, we don't have uh, scoring stats, but he's high scorer for the Pandas. That one got tipped away and stolen. Let's get a stop. Spear. 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 Tsukasa again. He's got like three similar plays. He got three baskets in this half. Almost thrown away, but speared by Beal. Way downtown, Mayhot. He's got to shoot more, Rob. I mean, he, I think May he's hot. Yeah, I think he's three of four. He is hot. Open look. Won't go. And. Got a foul behind the play by Damon Beal. I think they called that on, on Beal as he's going down. I think he reached out and grabbed one of the Panda players. Yeah, it was well behind the play. So it was funny call. 48-41, seven-point lead. That's what it was at the half, 29-22. Mustangs got it up to 10. Pandas have chipped away since then. Long range. Masto. Three ball. Four point lead. That Jefferson. Nobody underneath there. Becca. He came shifting down in and. Coach Rubin thought maybe a couple of extra steps there, but they let it go. Was a 10-point lead down to two. Now's our time. Looking to trap Mincy. Jonah. Up, up, up. Plays it off outside. Custodio. Oh, what a finish. What a finish. Boy, that was a pretty finish by Custodio. And now it comes back off. Destin's got it. Rolls halfway down and out for Jefferson. And coast to coast and oh! offensive foul. Custodio stepped in. Kelson taking the body. What a finish he had just a bit ago.
Two-man officiating crew here. Doing a Hell good ball. Job. Hell ball. Fifty forty-eight. Eleven sixteen. Be Mustang ball. You want to come up, step on the pressure a little bit. Aiden in the game now. Aiden spins, lost it, kicks it back outside. Underneath to Aiden, he puts it home. What an entrance he made. Handled the ball well. Got underneath, shook loose. Gets it home. First two points of the game. What an impact right away. <laughs> well, he had impact right there, Nate. <laughs> Different kind of impact. One more foul, one and one. Yes, sir. Six fouls now on the Mustangs. Coach was looking to put the more back in, but didn't do it. Kick back outside. Foul call. Uh, it seemed like it was just kind of a matter of time in that possession. There was a lot of contact happening yep. down underneath. Ball gets kicked out to the key on top. And good uh, good up fake to get the defender up in the air. Masto picked up his third. He's going to come out. Dante DeMore checking in. First one's up and stuck. Custodio. Sit right there, you're fine. Go! Phone ahead. Play a little more ragged, I think, in this second half. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is kind of what I expected yeah. a little bit more. A lot of stoppages. Yeah. We, we had a lot of back and forth, back and forth in the, in the first yeah, half. Yeah, we did. Now, now we've had the disruption, a lot of fouls, guys out of position, you know, taking quick shots, and it, it, now it's become more of a track meet. Who can get down the other end quicker and get a shot up? Chase Mayot back in the game. He's been huffed from the outside. He's got three, four threes. As we said, uh, live stats not in action tonight. Normally we're able to open those right up on the iPad and give you game stats as they unfold, but... We'll have that for regular season play for sure. Mincy says, uh, come get me. Mayor. Corner. Held there. Mincy. Mayor's been hot from the outside. Can he launch another? Thought about it. Lays it off to Mincy. Mincy goes one on one. He spins. Back out. Mayor thought about it. Got a foul call on the rebounding action. Wait till you they call it on Maso, I think. If if so, I think that's his fourth. I didn't see him put the player in. I, I didn't foul see him. Yeah, did I, I didn't see him go up. So I'm not sure whether or not they called it on him, and if so, loose. Good rebounding underneath. It come all the way back out. Kicked out here to Aiden. Popped outside. Long. Good tip. Mena Rakiza can't get it home. And we come back the other way. Aiden. That was a good shot outside. Now we're getting an injury, so get a timeout on the floor. Good train of help coming out. So why don't we step away? 9.33 left. 52-49 is your score. We'll come back for more basketball from Kirk Hall after this.
as always, put the front of the net. All those little things to make you what you are. Jim, I think what you think, Jim. Okay, let's go. One, two, three. Yeah, we, we're strong on family here. Like, I look at all these, all my teammates as my brothers. And that's how we carry ourselves on and off the court. You heard about free college? It's free. It's free. It's free. Recent high school graduates from the classes of 2020, 21, 22, and 23 can attend CMCC for free. The free college scholarship pays two years of tuition and mandatory fees. No income or age limits. What are you waiting for? It's free. Leaving CM with no debt is going to set me up for my future. Visit cmcc.edu slash free for details. Brendan Manorakissa getting some training help, but he came off under his own power, though he's a little gimpy. Dante Demore, right side, held. Demore takes it, that's stripped away. Good quick hands by Aiden. Ball's loose under there, and Aiden comes up with it. Mustangs look to settle it down here with Mayon. Yeah, I think that's the right play. Just kind of gather some composure here, run an offensive set. Inside, stolen away. Sukasu. We need to stop. One point game. Guys, we gotta move with the shooters. We gotta move with the shooters. Stolen away. Mayotte, nice job on the recovery. Gains his composure, takes it back outside, wants to set the offense. The hot shooting point guard. Down to three. They got to let it go, and it's stolen away inside. Good defense there. And good hustle back. Aiden, boy, he's hustled since he's come in, makes a good play, and keeps the ball alive. Mayotte. Mayotte. Tricky dribbles, kicks. Back outside, Jefferson. Now baseline, halfway down and out. It's loose. And Mustangs converted a lot of those second, third opportunities uh, in the first half there. Finding those rolling out here in the second Yeah, half. it's not quite falling for them. You can tell there uh, some guys with a lot of hands on hips right now, some tired legs here. You know, you've been practicing all along and uh, just don't play at this speed all the time in practice. Yeah. Check-ins coming in. Evan Colbroth comes in. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's going both ways. I, I yeah. think the Pandas are a little bit different offensively this this half than we saw in the first. They, they're elected more or less. Let's, let's try and push the ball. They're getting more of a fast break uh, kind of offense, get down there and, and get a layup. Sukasa, chance to give his team the lead. Won't happen, we'll stay tied. Grenier in the game now, number 25 for the Mustangs as coaches. Trying to get all the kids a chance to get in and play some ball tonight in this scrimmage. A floater won't go by Grenier. And blue Let's ball. Yeah, I've seen a lot of the, the Mustangs right now telling, telling well, we've got to slow it down, slow it down. I mean, they, ha they have the big advantage down underneath, so yeah. it's only going to favor them by doing that. Pop outside. He is up. Mayotte. Chase has been hot. Maybe he's the guy you run the offense through. No, you're, you're running through right there. Back to a card. Up. Good luck. So Cole Broth will go to the line. Good decision there. Beal electing to go ahead and pass that one off, try and get his teammate an open look on that backside. He also had a good opportunity. If he just turned and shot that Rob, I think he was in a good position to be able to make bucket. Sutton coming in. This is going to get interesting in these last seven minutes because we have some pandas in foul trouble. TK, you're the five, you're the five. You're going, I'm saving you. Yeah, and foul trouble. has got four. Rebound! Kept alive, Mincy, and I think they got Mincy on the rebounding action. 
Yes. One point lead for the Mustangs. 53-52. And more importantly, the Pandas will be down to shoot. Yeah, that, there's a lot of time here going already into the bonus. You have 727 left in the game. I mean, we're almost looking like a, a quarter worth of bonus play. Yeah, right. For them, they, they, they just have to continue to be aggressive, go to the basket, try and draw some fouls, and they're in pretty good shape here. Sukasa got the first. Sukasa will get another. And there it is. This is the first lead that they've had. Yeah, first lead, 54-53. We'll see what happens here. Cobra. Mincy kicks it right. Custodio. Good motion in the offense here. Yeah, good motion. Into the baseline. Now back. And they got a three-second go, violation. Move. Somebody got pocked inside. Yeah, I, I, and I think that happened because I thought they thought the shot was going to go up here off the yeah. corner and there was an extra pass. Chance for the Pandas to increase their one-point lead on this possession. They'll tuck it in the corner. Defense caused the ball to come out high. Good defense that time by the Mustangs. Get in front, get in front. Let's get a stop, Lou. Get a stop, Lou. Yeah. Tried to get it back to Beal, but it was stolen away. Now restolen. Numbers here. Custodio in the corner. Take there. Pop outside. Rebound steep. Sukasa for two and. Mustangs want to take a timeout. The Pandas had their one point lead extended. Now they lead by three, 56 to 53. We're back after this. Helping people is kind of ingrained into me. I am so glad that I chose to be here. It's a really great program. The instructors are super helpful. They really do set you up to be successful in the field. The new hospital simulation lab here at CMCC is a great addition. It's as close to replicating real life as you can get. We did an IV lab. With a mannequin, it's nice to get your toes wet before you jump into a clinical setting. Deep breath. CMCC is the best place to start nursing. It's challenging, but you are learning. You have a smaller size classroom, smaller ratio to instructors. It's affordable. It really provided me relief that I'm not going to accrue a lot of debt. I needed to set myself and my family up for success after. I'm going to come out of this able to actually practice as an RN in the real field. It's a wonderful opportunity. I'll hit the six minute mark left in this game. Mustangs find themselves down. They'll take it to the hole and draw the iron of the foul. And Custodio has played a really good game at the free throw line. Kelson hailing from Houston, Texas. Guys, we need a rebound. TK, shooter. Custodio. Back iron to first. Oh, yeah, Dante, shooter. Help there, help there, my bad. Dante, shooter. Kelson will get a second one. If we get this, we're out, guys. If we get this, we're out. Let's go. One of two. That's a lead to two. Remember, we'll stay right up in this stream. Custodio gets double. Tried to dribble through traffic and lost the handle on it. Popped right side, high rebound. Mincy with a good block out. Boy, I wonder what the score would be if just a few of those would fall for the Pandas. Yeah, Sarden got a good look, but the rebound came high and Mincy skied for it. Mincy playing out high. He's going to get the pass, but it was anticipated by Sarden. He goes, and Mincy 
Knocked him off the ball. <laughs> Custodio. He, he had that defense, but he was in a good spot. Yeah. I think there might have been a little acting there from. <laughs> Grinia. Outside now. Custodio. Inside to Mincy. Nicely done. There's the cot. And that was well done. And Mincy with a good pass to Gavin Grenier. And Grenier going to go the free throw line. Chance to tie it. Yeah, they got that look that they wanted. Went up with Mincy to set that ball screen. He rolled and got the ball down the baseline, waiting for his teammate to cut down through. You can tell, though, that a little bit of sequencing and the timing off on all those, those passes. That should have been a little, a little bit more snappy. But nonetheless, good result here for the Mustangs. Lucas, Lucas. Hey, way to defend, boy. Way to defend. Hey, well, it looks like the international squad coming in. They've got practice shirts on, too. So we'll have some pregame work to do, Nate, and matching these numbers up. So we're tied at 56 56. Defense call goes up on the bench. Back up, back outside now. Sukatsu got it stripped away. And got a three second violation call. Sukasa got called on the three second violation. 56-56. Coming down to the final four. Mincy. Pulls over his head. Got it tipped away. Mincy out high. Jefferson. Grenier now. Grenier comes off the pick. Mincy. Wants to take it to the rack. And miss it. And... Foul call will come all the way down. I like that take there by Mincy. I was just yeah. I was thinking during that position. If he ever has just a jab one way, cross over, get to the basket, he'd be he'd be something to deal with with that. But we've got a little preview of that kind of shot just on the previous play. Manor Kiss are going to come back in the game. Brandon went out. I better go. He's been a dynamic force for them. Good to see he's okay. He went crashing into the area under the basket where there's not a lot of room. There's padding, but not a lot of room. 57-56. Pandas. Comes Jefferson, right side. Grenier. Jefferson lost the handle on it and falls loose somehow, some way. <laughs> and offense by accident. Abdullahi. Wow. <laughs> Puts the Mustangs up by one. Abdullahi's been aggressive defensively and on the boards all night and that time it really paid off for the Mustangs. He's got it here. He's going to downshift. Pulls it back outside. He wants to go hard. He does now. Kicks it back out. Grinia with a quick release. Got a three. A big one. Hey, oh, the knuckleball, Rob. No rotation off of that Gavin shot. Grinia threw up a knuckleball, as Nate says, and it was all that. 61-57. That's uh, such a fun shot to see go in. Mustangs looking to dig in on the D. Floater won't go. Abdullahi. They can start to take their time a little bit, Rob. Take the air out the, uh, out the ball here. Shot clock at 20. They'd like to use most of that if they can at 2.30. Yeah. Grenier calls for the ball. No, he called for the cut. He got through. Jefferson goes up. No, follows it. Drops it. Oh, Aiden Jefferson with the follow-up. Stayed with his shot. Went back up. Teardropped at home. 
Mustangs up 63 to 57. Yeah, there it is the follow up there. That was the first shot and there. He smartly Rob, undersized player down underneath just going right back up with it. Makes it 63 to 57 and he's got a free throw here. That won't go and I think blue in early. Must yeah, have been. I, I didn't. I didn't yeah. see what the call is. Yeah, blue in early. It's a lane violation. So 63-57 and pivotal time here. So Jefferson with a very unconventional three-point play missed the first one. Lane violation. Got to do it again. The do-over works. 64-57. Seven point lead all of a sudden. Biggest panda lead was two, almost stolen. Over and back. With 159. Yeah, that's a costly turnover. Gavin Grinia. Got it inside. Probably would have liked to take a little yeah. more time on the shot clock. Little bump they let go. And out of bounds. Let's see who's ball. They're saying this is blue ball. I think they want to talk. Yeah, it over. I don't know. I don't. I don't think. I think it gets swiped by the pandas out of bounds. Yeah. You can see there. CM didn't go play it as yeah. if they needed to. Right. So I think that's the right call. I, I, I think these two guys have done a great job tonight. Yes, yeah. It's been a great game. Just two officials and, yep. you know. Maybe you don't need three. Likely, maybe, maybe, li maybe three gets in the way. Likely one of their first assignments of the year. True, yeah. yeah you know, they've, they've let the kids play a little bit. And I'm sure for a lot of the kids just coming out of high school, you know, there's a little more physical than they used to. <laughs> So foul call at 126 left. Yeah, they're, they're trying to get a look over in that corner. They had a guy set up for three. The ball never worked its way over to there. You could tell the, the, that's where the bench, everyone knew it was supposed to go over there. Guys, we need a rebound. Well, they've got to start fouling. Yeah. Got to make these free throws. And then. Yo, as soon as he makes it. Yeah, once you once you, you're right. Once you get to that 90 second and you're down by this, you got you got to Sukasu, Sukasa, I should say, gets the second one. I had to handwrite the roster, and sometimes I'm looking at it and I didn't close the A, so it looks like a U sometimes. Jefferson. Underneath and dropped home. Well, I was just about to say, he's got to kick it out, Rob, but he made yeah. the right, great steal here. Just should. Had an extra possession, might want to, yeah, that was, that was tough. That's a tough situation right there. He's got to play defense now if you're the, the Mustangs. Don't want to give up a three, no foul, a three-point shooter. Abdullari. Been very effective. Mincy now. Clear the track. Clear the track for the big guy. And drawing the charge was Custodio. He's drawn a couple. Yeah, smart play. Like he set up to go get a new iPhone, Rob, the night before. Yeah. He was in front of the arc there for a good, I don't know. Yeah. 10 seconds he before was, the, there was even a play developing. He was waiting on it. Smart play. Abdullahi has really been effective here in the second half. High energy in the first half, but finishing some underneath shots. We're going to get the foul called on the block with 25.2. So The Mustangs withstood a charge by the Panders. Panders went up. But about six, a little over six left in the game. Went up by two. And the Mustangs didn't panic. They stayed within their game and back to a double-digit lead. Check-ins coming in. Remy 
Jennifer Klong in the game. Mencio will come out. And Bilari will come out, get a handshake from coach. Come on, bro. You play so well, man. You gotta go sit down. You play so well, bro. Custodio. No fouls. He'll get back. Paz Dillon in the game. Taha Paz Dillon. Coach is getting some other players in the game. Emilio Vecca in the game. Here comes the pressure with 20 seconds. No need to foul at this stage. Mustangs, I don't think, will do anything but hold the ball. Custodio holding the ball. Dribbles through traffic. No foul. No fouls called, so Custodio can hold the ball. And Kelson will dribble out the clock, and that will do it. 69-58, your final. Good game for the Mustangs. So as we said, we'll, uh, we'll keep this right up here. Uh, we're going to play some uh, of the uh, Central Maine Community College promo video. And uh, we'll join you here maybe a little earlier, well, a little earlier start than 7. But we'll be back to Kirk Hall very soon. Yeah, we we're strong on family here. Like I look at all these, all my teammates as my brothers, and that's how we carry ourselves on and off the court. You heard about free college? It's free. It's free. It's free. Recent high school graduates from the classes of 2020, 21, 22, and 23 can attend CMCC for free. The free college scholarship pays two years of tuition and mandatory fees. No income or age limits. What are you waiting for? It's free. Leaving CM with no debt is going to set me up for my future. Visit cmcc.edu slash free for details. We'll save that for between innings. One out here. Is that pitch driven to left, and that one's going to be a track meet as the left fielder Wilcox will track that one down. Ducharme scores. McWinney scores. Hooker rounds third, and he will score. That'll go in as a three run homer for Keith Hooker, and the Mustangs take a 5 nothing lead. find somewhere that you feel comfortable. Having positive relationships and having people that you can connect with. That's a big reason why I decided to come. They're going to treat you as family. I didn't want to just be like lost in the crowd someplace. I wanted to make connections with people. People, there's so many reasons why I chose CMCC. Everybody here has your best interest at heart. CM is such a close-knit college that they actually do care about you being successful. When I went from high school to college, I was extremely nervous. Once I got here and realized what it was like, it's a lot of fun. From the moment I started correspondence with CMCC, they were just always checking up on me. It clearly lined out for me what I needed to do to get here. The college is really committed to making sure to stay on top of the latest technology. The instructors here, they're so passionate about what they do. There's a great student-teacher ratio. I wasn't just a number in the crowd. They work really well on a one-on-one -on -one basis with the students to make sure you understand the material. I didn't want to go into debt when I went to college. I've saved thousands of dollars. Campus is great. Everything is right here, so it's easy. I mean, it's a small campus, so they always have activities for us to do. I've never been part of a team like this before. You just come together on and off the court. That's what really pushes CM over the top of everybody else. 
somebody that steps foot on this campus won't want to go anywhere else. It's a great place to go to get your start and to determine where you'd like to go in the future. I can easily transfer credits to any college of my choice. If you have a good foundation like Central Maine Community College gives you, you can really go anywhere with it. My whole experience here has just been building up my confidence. For me, this is my place. This is my home. It's one of the greatest decisions I ever made. When I walked through these doors, I was just blown away. This is insane. It just caught my attention immediately. This is the first place that I've seen like this decked out. It's pretty sweet. This is a grand opening for our eSports arena. We're talking 1,600 square feet of pure technology. Like, I'm shaking being here. It's so cool. There's nothing like it in Maine. We're ahead of the curve here. It's definitely a big market, something you can make a living on. I've always had an interest in eSports. So we're treating it like an extension of our athletic program. And then in addition to that, we're starting an eSports management degree program. It's just a different community for me to be a part of. It really just helps me just be myself. It's just really fun. This will bring students together. That's what's happening, and that's what eSports is. To me, it's beautiful, and I want to live here. I practice me and him when we're matched up against each other. We just make each other better, and I love playing with that kid. He, he's the most. He's one of the most unselfish players. We're with Noel, and Noel won that. Hank into space. Blue it. Shoots. That's deflected and put toward goal. The flag stays down, and it's one nil. I mean, it was incredible. Uh, I spent two years here. Um, when I came in, uh, Matt Biot had just got the head coaching job, and, you know, he was uh, really trying to turn the program around, and it was awesome to be able to see that grow throughout that two years that, you know, he was able to lay that foundation on, and, um, you know, it was everything you could have asked for here. I mean, the school treats the players awesome, you know, and um, the facilities just amazing, top notch, so. Um, you know, I loved my time here and, um, you know, recommend it to anyone, really. I mean, top-notch program, yep. Yeah, I'd say we all got along really great, um, really fast. Um, like, just from the first week that we all got here, I think uh, everybody was able to mesh well. And then... ...the area, Ooh. it got all the way through. Johnson was close. Now played in the middle. And a shot up high for a goal. It's Nonowitz. Just 36 seconds into this second half, Allison Nonowitz has doubled the lead for the Mustangs. Well, that's the start. Mustangs were looking no, all the for props right in the world are the guys on the bench. You know, from people that just came out, people that may not be playing that much. I mean, when you when you got 12 guys out on the court, you need high fives and you make a simple play like that. It uh, it feels good. And it's, a, it's a good team feel, not just an individual feel.
just feels like home. It's a diverse place. I learned a lot here. It really is like that perfect stepping stone and TRIO even articulates that more so. TRIO is a government funded program that has tons of resources. They help you with real life problems. If you didn't know how to write a resume when coming here, TRIO will help you do that and they'll help you apply for scholarships. Time management. They helped me to find a mentor for my business classes. I took statistics over the summer, and if it wasn't for one of the tutors at Trail that helped me, I don't think I would have passed. There's a student services office. It says the Success Center. It's kind of like the hidden gem in the school. All the advisors are there. It's really any time, you can just pop right in, say hi, or you can make an appointment. I want to be a labor and delivery nurse to create my own business. That is my goal. I would love to start my own clothing store. My dream is to be a chiropractor. It's not easy to be in college, and I need someone to say, hey, you can do this. Once I got into the nursing program, I went straight to TRIO. I told Terry, I just got accepted, I'm crying, and she was there to celebrate with me. And they push you to succeed. They understand me, support me, and encourage me to do better. Yeah, for me, TRIO is a family. I'm just very grateful for TRIO because their tutoring program really helped me out throughout my college journey. They have so many resources. You have your advisor, you have all that tutoring. It's free. Anyone can apply. If you don't apply, you don't know what it has for you. They've helped me so much just being here. I mean, it's awesome. It's, it's unlike anywhere I've ever really played before. When you're this close, uh, when you're this close to the court, not a lot of college courts, especially, are like that. But uh, no, I mean, it's awesome when you get to turn around after you hit a three and you're close enough to give uh, the guys on the bench high fives or turn around and look at your buddies in the stands and give them high fives. So it's a good feeling when you hit one right in front of either one of those. When I go in, I just want to do whatever I can to help us as a team. The better that I work with everybody else, the more that um, you can see it on the scoreboard. Um, I mean, we all flow together, so whoever's hot, we just try to give them the ball. And I'm, we're a family, so, you know, if someone's hot, we give them the ball, and they're going to do their thing. And if they don't have it, the ball's always going to come back around. It's always it's what you got to think. And we're all here to win, so, I mean, one prize, you know? It's just about being a team player. My job is my energy off the bench and my aggressiveness on defense and offense, so I did with that today. Goal headed away by the Knights. Isidoro Dominguez played outside. Atwood, shot, goal! That was not Atwood, it was 20 not 2 Sasha Bruno kissed that off the underside of the crossbar. And it's 2-0. A goal in the sixth minute. So two early goals for Central Maine. And Sasha Bruno has his first. It's all about chemistry and gelling and playing together.
by such tremendous young young women is just really warms warms my heart. You know, um, I'm just very lucky to just be associated with them and can't wait to see all the things that they accomplish over the next five or ten years of their life because when you come to CM it's, it's more than just showing up here and you're on the team and then you leave here and gone and we we're in this together for life you know uh, and uh, that's something we take very seriously here so I just look forward to watching them all grow and become stuff that they once thought they were never capable of being. With I saw my family walk in so oh, I that's that, you know, well, right over there. Yeah. Yeah, we we're strong on family here. Like I look at all these, all my teammates as my brothers, and that's how we carry ourselves on and off the court. You heard about free college? It's free. It's free. It's free. Recent high school graduates from the classes of 2020, 21, 22, and 23 can attend CMCC for free. The free college scholarship pays two years of tuition and mandatory fees. No income or age limits. What are you waiting for? It's free. Leaving CM with no debt is going to set me up for my future. Visit cmcc.edu slash free for details. So we'll say we'll save that for between innings. One out here. That pitch driven to left, and that one's gonna be a track meet as the left fielder Wilcox will track that one down. Ducharme scores. McWinney scores. Hooker rounds third, and he will score. That'll go in as a three-run homer for Keith Hooker, and the Mustangs take a five-nothing lead. find somewhere that you feel comfortable. Having positive relationships and having people that you can connect with. That's a big reason why I decided to come. They're going to treat you as family. I didn't want to just be like lost in the crowd someplace. I wanted to make connections with people. People, there's so many reasons why I chose CMCC. Everybody here has your best interest at heart. CM is such a close-knit college that they actually do care about you being successful. When I went from high school to college, I was extremely nervous. Once I got here and realized what it was like, it's a lot of fun. From the moment I started correspondence with CMCC, they were just always checking up on me. It clearly lined out for me what I needed to do to get here. The college is really committed to making sure to stay on top of the latest technology. The instructors here, they're so passionate about what they do. There's a great student-teacher ratio. I wasn't just a number in the crowd. They work really well on a one-on-one -on -one basis with the students to make sure you understand the material. I didn't want to go into debt when I went to college. I've saved thousands of dollars. Campus is great. Everything is right here, so it's easy. I mean, it's a small campus, so they always have activities for us to do. I've never been part of a team like this before. You just come together on and off the court. That's what really pushes CM over the top of everybody else. Anybody that steps foot on this campus won't want to go anywhere else. It's a great place to go to get your start and to determine where you'd like to go in the future. I can easily transfer credits to any college of my choice. If you have a good foundation like Central Maine Community College gives you, you can really go anywhere with it. My whole experience here has just been building up my confidence. For me, this is my place. This is my home. It's one of the greatest decisions I ever made.
I walk through these doors, I was just blown away. This is insane. It just caught my attention immediately. This is the first place that I've seen like this deck down. It's pretty sweet. This is a grand opening for our eSports arena. We're talking 1,600 square feet of pure technology. Like, I'm shaking being here. It's so cool. There's nothing like it in Maine. We're ahead of the curve here. It's definitely a big market, something you can make a living on. I've always had an interest in eSports. We're treating it like an extension of our athletic program. And then in addition to that, we're starting an eSports management degree program. It's just a different community for me to be a part of. It really just helps me just be myself. Really fun. This will bring students together. That's what's happening, and that's what esports is. To me, it's beautiful, and I want to live here. I practice me and him when we're matched up against each other. We just make each other better, and I love playing with that kid. He, he's the most. He's one of the most unselfish players. In Welcome back here to Kirk Hall. Rob Munsing, along with Nate Munsing, here as we get set. For the second game of the doubleheader, congratulations to the developmental team. They pull out about an 11-point uh, lead at the end, and after giving up the lead, they came back with good composure, and Coach Rubin very happy with that. We're here for the international team, the Pandas of Lee Academy. Take on your Mustangs. Sorry, we'll, we'll be doing uh, interviews before each and every single one of the games, but uh, we were scrambling as uh, things are uh, not like they normally are for a, a regular season game. Uh, the Panthers are wearing their uh, practice jerseys, so we had to throw away the roster that we had and come back uh, and try to find out uh, who was wearing what for a practice jersey. So, so Daniel Cato... Number 24 will step in. No introductions here tonight. Harry Bates, the freshman, the 6'8 freshman. Harry, been talking to Harry during the fall. He's been out for working on the uh, work-study program for some of the soccer baseball games. He was very instrumental at 6'8 yesterday, Nate, when the uh, canopy was about to blow down. Uh, he was able to reach up and not even go on his tippy toes and just grab that and secure it. He and some of the other basketball players are out there set to go. So be White Hathaway, uh, Boston Caldwell names from the past. And we'll get set to roll here. Tyro Green, the point guard, inside. And that's knocked home. Glover Mejia. Mejia, number five, one of the big inside players here, Hathaway. Set to roll the offense. Bates holds, goes right side. Cam Pollock. Cam had a bit of an injury. Now they find Bates inside for two. How do you lose him? He's the biggest guy on the court. You don't lose a 6'8 guy, but they did. Pandas on the attack. That was Sinegro with it. He got it back outside. Rebound's going to be pulled down by Cato. Back outside. Mustangs will step in. Pollock will step in and get the hell ball. Cam doing what he does well. Can't, you can't put the ball down around him. He's going to nab it. Bates, Boston, Caldwell underneath. Wyatt Hathaway. Jeremiah Simeon, number 14, with the ball right now. Jeremiah goes right side. Pollock kicks it back outside to Bates. Bates to Hathaway. Wyatt. Simeon. Inside to Bates. Bates wants a muscle tussle. He does. He goes back up. Left handed, but he plays. Boy, something they've been missing in the past couple of years, Rob, is a physical... Big man. Finisher. Yep. Because you, you run into some big men around this league, Nate, for sure. Pandas. They'll kick it back outside. Tyro Green knocks one down. This should be a really competitive game just uh, yeah. looking at the first couple of minutes of this right now. And Hathaway. Caldwell. Jeremiah Simeon gets double, but takes it rack-wise and drops it in. Woo! Looked out of control, but he had enough English on it for it to spin back in. Good play by Caldwell. 
Caldwell able to knock it out. Caldwell a lack, of, lack of touches on the offensive end so far, though. Yeah, well. I mean, uh, this might be one of the most balanced teams that we've seen in some time here for the Moose, uh, excuse me, the Mustangs. Yeah, ball distribution will be important. Caldwell goes in hard, puts it up, won't go, rebounds, but that'll come off. Yeah, I think he was thinking the same thing, kind of forced that one. Green going to step on the line, I believe. Want a lot of space down that way. 6-5, Mustangs up early. This is a good contest between some pretty good-looking players uh, on both teams. Hathaway. Seningo on him. Comes back outside to Bates. Bates, Pollock, Cam, launch. No. Pandas want to run. And they'll get a block. First game of what will be mini. Josh Gentry. The 6 7 freshman set to check in for the Mustangs. Wendell G will get a second one. He's got them both. Gentry, his first appearance, number 33. And for Bates, it's like mix and match right there, Nate. Those two. Simeon. Caldwell. Hathaway's open for a long three on that. 9-7. That, that's a spot, Rob. He, he's, you could go a foot, foot and a half, even two off of the three-point line, and, it, and that's, that's right where his range is. Mejia on call while Mejia goes. Good, strong move. We got fouled. Starting five here for the Pandas matches up pretty good against the Mustangs. You just look at the, they're able to switch in here in the, Coach Gagne's developed some depth here in this class that he's brought in. Great core that's come back from the previous yes, season. Right. Uh, probably the top guys. I mean, maybe with the exception of DeMarco Murray not being a part of it. Yeah, they, you know, they had to replace DeMarco, so they replaced him with two guys. Yeah. <laughs> six, seven, six, eight. That makes sense. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> good job, Dave. Mejia. Knocks him down to tie it at nine. Comes Cam. But if you're Coach Gagne, you like the fact that those two guys are interchangeable. Yeah. You can save some left well, how, that way. how often did we say, uh, you know, last year DeMarco yeah. would, you know, be it? He'd have two fouls before warm-ups were <laughs> over. Cam's going to launch. Call while they let the bump go. Mejia got it. Quickly down the floor, Hathaway in a muscle tussle inside, but they're going to call him for a foul as he was trying to do -si do and got swung around with Cato. Yeah, he never really got a hold of the ball there. He kind of had his hand in the play, but it just never was on the ball. Knocked out of bounds as Green tried to get it down along the baseline. 15-56. Ashanti Haywood, freshman in the game, number 24. Coach subbing quickly in a law. Logan Myers, the 6'6 freshman, comes in. Be interesting to see how all the moving pots play. Mustangs win their red shirt. Oh! Hey, easy. Easy. <laughs> the table moves. They come to check in and push the table. And Mustang's ball underneath. Haywood to get it in. Does. They'll roll it around. 
Birmingham also in the game. Kept alive and sneaking in and drawing the eye in as Haywood, the sophomore, got hit. It was a big group here for the Mustangs, Rob. A great example of what will probably be to we'll see a lot. Second chance opportunities, and I think one thing that they're going to greatly improve on from last season is their ability to rebound. Yeah. Hey, guys. Guys. Middle. Yeah, they, they won't find you there. there you yeah. Yeah, we're di directing traffic as we I want to do down here. We've always said we need to make a sign. You yeah. know, it says, you know, move the middle or something yeah. like that. Haywood. Got it. So 10 9 Mustangs. Going to see uh, coaches go deep. This is Exus, uh, Essex Taylor just handling the ball. Alec Mercer also in the game. As you're using this still as an evaluation tool here on the season, early on in the season. Guys falling around like Cordwood and three second violation and really. <laughs> I think it was. I think it was probably a foul before that, and the three seconds is just to cover it, cover that. So <laughs> you get knocked down in the paint and can't get up. <laughs> very very easy to spot that one guy down on the floor. Colin Wilson, number twelve in the game is Coach Gagne really testing us right out of the gate. Nate is. So. A lot of substitutions in. Get kids in early. I think that's a good plan. And get them on the floor here at Kirk Hall. And uh, I, I think, too, a little bit, it's an evaluation period for him as well. Sure. You know, I mean, he's going to come back and watch the film and we'll see how guys play and, you know, how they're executing, all that. Yeah, Taylor that. missed there. Birmingham back quickly. Got it left side. In the corner. How a move and... Gentry, the freshman, the 6'7 freshman, just couldn't get it to drop down, but he's had a couple of strong moves to the hole. Yeah, tough to work in that amount of space. Not, not a lot of flow down underneath there, Rob, so. Almost got to, uh, some of these big men, you almost got to clear it all out for them in order for them to be able to work, but. 14 23. which way they want to call it. They're going to call block. So Eli Bigelow will draw the foul. Pop from the corner is good. Alex Mercer. Birmingham. Looking to go to work. They play off a little bit. They kick it back outside. Right side now. Myers. Must, Mustangs being patient. We're in the shot clock. Bring him with the take. Gets it off and violation. Yeah, had to shoot it on down underneath. That, that, that initial take. I think that was Wilson who got down this right-hand side. Just had to go up with it. That extra pass. Just didn't have enough time to be able to get a shot off. Two-point lead here for the Pandas. They're in possession of the basketball. Mercer. They'll roll it left side here. And that was thrown away. Alec Mercer. Yeah, Birmingham coming over on that one. Getting in the lane. Forcing that pass over his head. Out of bounds. Birmingham, they're going to back outside now. It's held by Poison. Inside. Wilson in the corner. Wilson gets back inside, goes up, can't finish. Goes back up, gets fouled. They're, Rob, they're getting that shot right down by the basket. It's just, 
uh, we talked about in the first game, there, there's uh, there's almost a, a frantic play that happens yeah. because of the game speed in which you're playing. So you don't take your time down under those those little bunnies get a lot more difficult. Rolls in and out. Of course, foul shooting early on in preseason. Uh, probably a point of emphasis and still needs always to be worked on. Wilson will get a second one here. Won't get it. Rebound. Late cutter and Mercer stole it. They come back the other way and foul call Mejia on the take. In line. Taking that seven foul, so that's why we had the little bit of a delay, and now we'll come back and we will shoot. Wilbur Mejia. Uh, ball went up, hit the shot clock. Okay, so shot clock out of play. Mustangs half court. Manned up D here by the Pandas. Eight on the shot clock. It'll come inside. Wilson spins it back outside. Shot there. In and out. Won't go. Wilson kept it alive. And the follow-up. Metamiro. Had to see who it was. We got blocked out. So Kenroy just in the game makes this person spelling on the offensive board. It's a tie at 12. Seen Wilson go up a few times. He skies at 6-4. Pop outside. Ian. Metamiro. Tried to get on the defense. Myers now might get called on a push. Yeah, I think he was a little frustrated with that, that shot, shot shot selection down the other end. He put up a three kind of early in the shot clock. You know, we're going to see. CM is going to be set to, to come down. I think slow it down a little bit. Run their offensive set. I mean, they they look frantic when they're running their offensive set, but they, they drill it over and over and over again. So I think that's one of the things that we'll see here from uh, some of the guys. Uh, Snego won't get it. We're tied at 12. Push on back outside to Wilson. Metamiro. Chang. Oof. Good from outside. Yeah, I saw him warming up, Rob. And he was with the shooter, so. Hey. He kind of got lost going back on defense there. And yeah, got to get back. Got to get back. 15-14. After the three. Wilson, a one-hander. No. Come to Pandas. Coast to coast. And Amiro, Wilson on the take. Puts it up and puts it home. Little harm. Colin Wilson. Good strong take by Wilson. Yeah, we'll take a look at it here. Kind of inviting the contact going up through the hands. Not a lot there, but... Good finish. Good soft touch at the end. I think that's what really what matters, right? The finish. Looks like we might get starters. Check back in. Didn't hit the free throw. Taylor. Outside. Goes right side. Pandas trailing by three. Long shot from the corner, won't go. Okay, I got Caldwell up ahead. Caldwell running the floor, a nifty move. Oof, but, what a tip. And who came flying in to tip it? Was that Wilson again? I think it was Wilson again. Wilson's got the ups. 
He's got the ups. Is watching him warm up, Rob, that was something else. He can put it down from almost anywhere. Here's Caldwell almost getting this up underneath, but there's the tip. I mean, that that that's something else. But if you got that in the back. Yeah, foul, foul was called. Uh, wouldn't have counted anyway. Caldwell going to free throw line. We got lots of folks coming in. Malik Foster's in the game. Harry Bates has checked back in. Caldwell won't do it. Bates has got it. Got it back outside to Caldwell. Thought about it. Bates with the pick. Caldwell through traffic. Tough one. Oh, he rolled a pretty one home. You just got to make room for him. He'll, he'll, he'll create. Just got to give him a little space. It's on the way. I mean, and popped outside for a three ball. The Metamero made the defense. He's got a guy play. right in his face, Rob. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. If he gets hot, beat him up. Tough take. Ball's loose. Comes Malik. Boston Caldwell oh. in and out. Bates. Ran out of room underneath, but he scrambled for it. I, I mean, I thought I saw the top of the ball underneath the rim there on that one. So we're going to get timeout by the Pandas. Mustangs lead it 23 to 14. We'll take a quick break. We'll come back after the timeout. Forensics has grown so much and it's very beneficial to the criminal justice system. I was always one of those kids that watched forensic files. That was something I loved. Just a science person all around, I always have been. The instructors are some of the top forensic experts in Maine. They really know what they're talking about. They've been there, done that. CMCC is very lucky to have people like this. I'm an intro to criminal justice and criminal law and report writing. That's a lot of the baseline of things I have to be knowledgeable about. I want to do crime scene photography. The forensic science program is preparing me to start thinking like what's important here, what do I need to look for like right off the bat. You never know what you're going to find. I think one of the uh, early things we've seen already from the Mustangs is uh, they're going to be able to go deep, Nate. Yeah. Uh, they played a lot of kids uh, here in the first half or just halfway through, a little over halfway through at 9.32, and already uh, Coach Gagne has gone into a, deeply into the bench. So Yeah, and, and it's different. You know, It's not just numbers, right? It's the quality of the depth. That, that really determines if you have a good team or not. And you're looking at you don't have a lot of fall off between. They're gonna, there's gonna be some teams in this league, Rob, in the YSCC that are just gonna get. It's gonna be a nightmare against the Mustangs. Is all. Pathway outside. He's all net. I think uh, Wyatt's taken two shots. Right. Yeah. All net on both. And looking at Wyatt, uh, Wyatt's been in the weight room. Swing it. Swing it. Nicely ahead. Paula controls yeah, give it right back, back to him. Wyatt. Yeah, give it to him. He's a hot hand. Tipped out. Comes wide. Boros, number two in the game. Popped outside. Green. Got it. Tyrell Green. Comes Caldwell. Got to call that. On the fly and going to count it. See, we're already seeing the big difference in the depth. We're seeing a lot... A lot of heavy breathing here for the Pandas, Rob. And they, now they can't get back. we got more fresh legs from the CM side. You know, one, one thing that we didn't see from them the last couple of years is, you know, their ability to really push, 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 push. Yeah. They're more come down, getting their offensive set. Well, when you have, a, when you have good depth, like it appears that they're going to have this year, Nate, you, you can really get up and down the floor because you yeah. can keep, uh, keep bodies in the game. They want to work some on free throws. I know Green now. Green wants to go. He's got a lane. And Bates came over and 
Knocked one away, but I think the foul was called before that. Bates block. So 28-17, 8 Rings home. Green, second of two. One of two, and violation when the count is. Second, second lead violation. Ten-point lead for the Mustangs. Here comes Cam Pollock. Oh, to Caldwell. Hathaway thought about it. Pollock now. Bates going to work inside. Can they get it to him? They don't. They get it out high. Roll in the yeah, corner on the motion. Mm. Hathaway, quick release. High, and Bates goes up for it. Tried to get Pollock, but good read by Green coming back. Tyro Green. Good ball handling coming into the forecourt. Now he surveys the scene. They set the offense up. Pollock on him. Floater is good. Sonic Joe. 28-20. Caldwell. Bates corner. Pollock. Cam looks to be the facilitator this year. Hathaway thought about it, thinks twice. Bates back up, spins out. Pollock, a little baseline pop Woo! home. Cam in with the trees. Yeah, going down with the big men there. Yeah, the big branches, but the twig got it, knocked it home. Interesting couple sequences here for CM last offensive possessions with Hathaway being able to shoot freely, Rob because of the big men that he's got down underneath. I mean, they're, they're, yeah. they're picking off every rebound there is. Oh, great move. Nice Euro step. Beautifully done. Birmingham. That was Birmingham. 32-20. Come get him, Andrew. Luke Post, the give back, foul called. Goro, so go to the free throw line. See who the foul's called on. Ten team fouls on the Mustangs. It's going to go on Birmingham. That's his first. Goro, so get a second one here. Burroughs, the southpaw, got him. 10 point lead, 32 22. Pass away up quickly, back to Pollock. Pollock tried to dish it underneath, it got deflected away. And Voros finishes. Turnover led to a fast break opportunity. Mustangs fly back, and Simeon. I like that. If, if that's their mentality off of a quick, quick two points, what a great response. Yeah, Simeon just came flying. Got Hathaway here, then. Oh, great. No, no luck. luck. Underneath the Ooh. Hathaway, but it got tipped away from him, and no way uh, to make a play down on the baseline. And yeah, I think that was running out of room. Birmingham with the no look into the middle. We, we were calling Hathaway down to our near side here, down in the corner. Taylor, all the way in, goes, stripped away. Caldwell's running. Can they get it to him? Hathaway, no. Now they get it to Caldwell. Boston. Back out to Pollock High. Simeon. Stop. Pop. Bang. Boy, that little mid-range jumper is an impressive shot. And it is. Jeremiah knocked it down. Yeah, that looks smooth, too. You just don't see players taking that shot no, anymore. Everybody wants to continue the hole. Such a weapon. You've got to be able to shoot from the elbow. 
extended, and it, he certainly did that. I thought he originally had it when he caught it. He could have gone up and shot it, but a little pump fake found his spot at the elbow, and it was nothing but net. Five minutes, 12 seconds, moving clock here, 36-24. Pretty balanced scoring so far for the Mustangs. We'll see if we can get, we'll check the book at the half, get the scoring. Caldwell's going to launch it up. I love that. That's a set play too, Rob. They have that backside where they can work that lob. Caldwell understanding, oh, yep. well, I got a guy back there. I can go ahead and fire this, and if it goes long, then we have someone in position. There was that poison came in. Yeah, great scheme. Mustangs in the passing lane, causing some hectic passes. That's a long range one halfway down and out. Maya's kept it alive down the left side, and on, on the fly was Birmingham, and Mustangs uh, can get up and down. They're at full gallop a lot of times here early on, and uh, Coach uh, Gagne is going to take the timeout, so we'll take the timeout as well. 38-24, 4.28 left. We're back, finished first half after this. Have you heard about free college? It's free. It's free. It's free. Recent high school graduates from the classes of 2020, 21, 22, and 23 can attend CMCC for free. The free college scholarship pays two years of tuition and mandatory fees. No income or age limits. What are you waiting for? It's free. Leaving CM with no debt is going to set me up for my future. Visit cmcc.edu slash free for details. And we're back. We're seeing the... Huddle there is Aspen Stevens on our camera tonight. Aspen's soccer team, big one this week. As they've guaranteed their self a weekend off in the preliminary round. They won't have to play. They'll come right into the action here at the end of the month. They're going to take a trip out to play Word of Life coming up. That's a good program. Mustangs ball. Jackson, Birmingham. Wants to go, he does. Birmingham goes. Tough move finishes. How about that? He understood the defender overplaying that right side. Just Euro steps right back over across him. Almost had the interception there. And Mustangs uh, digging in on the D. 40-24. Comes Birmingham. Cut it goes through. That was Myers. Myers here, long range. Iron back outside to Caldwell. Pounding inside. Jeremiah Simeon back outside. And got a three second violation by Myers. Back outside. Mustangs manned up. That's all we've seen, I think, Nate. Mejia can't go. They want to go. I love it. I think that's what we're going to see from them all season, Rob. They're going to be at a lot of advantage because all these big bodies can run and move. So, it, you're, you know, you, yeah. you don't have any of those, those bodies where you've got the big center that can't really get up and down the court. Well, heck of a finish there. That was a heck of a heck of a finish. I had no words to describe the accent that was going on, but Taylor finished it. Caldwell all alone. That's a layup. That's a layup. 
Pandas having a hard time getting in that half-court offense. They'll take the long three, and Simeon will rule the boards. Birmingham thought about it. Now dips it inside. Simeon's going to take the fall away and drop it home. That, that too right there. Jeremiah. Well, great play between him and Birmingham. You know, Birmingham looked like he was going to take that out the dribble, but then just saw the switch and fed it right down to him. That was knocked home. That was a long-range one by O'Sullivan. Rory O'Sullivan, his first basket of the game. Caldwell. The Mustangs wasting no time at all. They lead it 47 to 29. Back outside, hell. Mejia. O'Sullivan again. Rory O'Sullivan back to back. He came in off the bench. Caldwell, tough one. Threw it up, was hoping to draw their foul. Almost knocked away. Mustangs on the floor for it. They keep it alive. And who was that on the floor? Birmingham again. Birmingham again All went over down the on the floor. And it was interesting, Rob. He was going to start the game, but had earrings in. <laughs> so the official told me he had to take him oh, out. Maybe that's the earring yeah, I found right here. Oh, that would explain yeah. that. I get what, that's I, what it is. I got what left on right here. Okay. And so he was out. So he's... Oh. he's I think in the starting rotation. Yeah. Well, that was interesting because I, I found that day ring right here. I mean, he's been one of the most impactful players here when he's mm. been on the court, so. And I, I have no use for that earring, Nate. No. No. 48 32. So Zach hits a couple. 49-32. Swung away. Just as we said, Poisson hit a couple of free throws. He steals and goes in for layup. Covered Zach in high school. He's a good high school player. That was, that was hit uh, from downtown and a little salute to the bench by Mejia. Coach not happy about it. He might be walking home to Lee, get get there by Christmas. Simeon went up. That's gonna be a block. So 51-37. Little foul action there. So 51 first half points is something that uh, you kind of like to have. Little preventive coaching by Dan Haynes and and good preventive officiating as well. Well, that's why you have these games. You get some teaching moments. That's halfway down and out. Kept alive. Pollock gets it back. Eight seconds left. Hathaway looking to go to work. Bates will come up. Bates will. Go to the bench, here's the pop, it'll count if it goes, and that'll do it. So, first half of action, finishing with the Mustangs up 51 to 37. So, we'll take a break, hear about some of the great programs that are happening on the campus here at Central Maine Community College. Uh, we'll try to get the high scores for you as well, and uh, Nate and I will be back after this.
as always, and the front of the net. Yeah, we, we're strong on family here. Like, I look at all these, all my teammates as my brothers. And that's how we carry ourselves on and off the court. You heard about free college? It's free. It's free. It's free. Recent high school graduates from the classes of 2020, 21, 22, and 23 can attend CMCC for free. The free college scholarship pays two years of tuition and mandatory fees. No income or age limits. What are you waiting for? It's free! Leaving CM with no debt is going to set me up for my future. Visit cmcc.edu slash free for details. So we'll say we'll save that for between innings. One out here. Is that pitch driven to left and that one's gonna be a track meet as the left fielder Wilcox will track that one down. Ducharm scores, McWinney scores, Hooker rounds third, and he will score. That'll go in as a three-run homer for Keith Hooker. And the Mustangs take a five-nothing lead. find somewhere that you feel comfortable. Having positive relationships and having people that you can connect with. That's a big reason why I decided to come. They're going to treat you as family. I didn't want to just be like lost in the crowd someplace. I wanted to make connections with people. People, there's so many reasons why I chose CMC. Everybody here has your best interest at heart. CM is such a close-knit college that they actually do care about you being successful. When I went from high school to college, I was extremely nervous. Once I got here and realized what it was like, it's a lot of fun. From the moment I started correspondence with CMCC, they were just always checking up on me. It clearly lined out for me what I needed to do to get here. The college is really committed to making sure to stay on top of the latest technology. The instructors here, they're so passionate about what they do. There's a great student-teacher ratio. I wasn't just a number in the crowd. They work really well on a one-on-one -on -one basis with the students to make sure you understand the material. I didn't want to go into debt when I went to college. I've saved thousands of dollars. Campus is great. Everything is right here, so it's easy. I mean, it's a small campus, so they always have activities for us to do. I've never been part of a team like this before. You just come together on and off the court. That's what really pushes CM over the top of everybody else. Anybody that steps foot on this campus won't want to go anywhere else. It's a great place to go to get your start and to determine where you'd like to go in the future. I can easily transfer credits to any college of my choice. If you have a good foundation like Central Maine Community College gives you, you can really go anywhere with it. My whole experience here has just been building up my confidence. For me, this is my place. This is my home. It's one of the greatest decisions I ever made. I walked through these doors, I was just blown away. This is insane. It just caught my attention immediately. This is the first place that I've seen like this death battle. It's pretty sweet. This is a grand opening for our eSports arena. We're talking 1,600 square feet of pure technology. Like, I'm shaking being here. It's so cool. There's nothing like it, Mean We're ahead of the curve here. It's definitely a big market, something you can make a living on. I've always had an interest in these sports. So we're treating it like an extension of our athletic program. And then in addition to that, we're starting an eSports management degree program. 
It's just a different community for me to be a part of. It really just helps me just be myself. It's just really fun. This will bring students together. That's what's happening, and that's what eSports is. To me, it's beautiful, and I want to live here. I practice me and him when we're matched up against each other. We just make each other better, and I love playing with that kid. He, he's the most, he's one of the most unselfish players. The threes with Noel, and Noel won that. Hank. Into space. Blew it. Shoots. That's deflected and put toward goal. The flag stays down, and it's 1-0. I mean, it was incredible. Uh, I spent two years here. Um, when I came in, uh, Matt Biot had just got the head coaching job, and you know he was uh, really trying to turn the program around. And it was awesome to be able to see that growth throughout that two years. That you know he was able to lay that foundation on, and um, you know it was everything you could ask for here. I mean, the school treats the players awesome, you know, and um, the facilities just amazing, top notch. So. Um, you know, I love my time here and, um, you know, recommend it to anyone, really. I mean, top-notch program, yep. Yeah, I'd say we all got along really great, um, really fast. Um, like, just from the first week that we all got here, I think uh, everybody was able to mesh well. And then... ...the area, Ooh. it got all the way through. Johnson was close. Now played in the middle. And a shot up high for a goal. It's Nonowitz. Just 36 seconds into this second half, Allison Nonowitz has doubled the lead for the Mustangs. Well, that's the start. Mustangs were looking no, all the for props right in the world are the guys on the bench. You know, from people that just came out, people that may not be playing that much. I mean, when you when you got 12 guys out on the court, you need high fives and you make a simple play like that. It uh, it feels good, and it's a, it's a good team feel, not just an individual feel. feels like home. It's a diverse place. I learned a lot here. It really is like that perfect stepping stone and TRIO even articulates that more so. TRIO is a government funded program that has tons of resources. They help you with real life problems. If you didn't know how to write a resume when coming here, TRIO will help you do that and they'll help you apply for scholarships. Time management, they helped me to find a mentor for my business classes. I took statistics over the summer, and if it wasn't for one of the tutors at Trail that helped me, I don't think I would have passed. There's a student services office. It says the Success Center. It's kind of like the hidden gem in the school. All the advisors are there. Really, any time, you can just pop right in, say hi, or you can make an appointment. I want to be a labor and delivery nurse to create my own business. That is my goal. I would love to start my own clothing store. My dream is to be a chiropractor. It's not easy to be in college, and I need someone to say, hey, you can do this. Once I got into the nursing program, I went straight to TRIO. I told Terry, I just got accepted, I'm crying, and she was there to celebrate with me. And they push you to succeed. They understand me, support me, and encourage me to do better. Yeah, for me, TRIO is a family. I'm just very grateful for TRIO because their tutoring program really helped me out throughout my college journey. 
They have so many resources. You have your advisor, you have all that tutoring. It's free, anyone can apply. If you don't apply, you don't know what it has for you. They've helped me so much just being here. I, I mean, it's awesome. It's, it's unlike anywhere I've ever really played before. When you're this close, uh, when you're this close to the court, not a lot of college courts especially are like that. But uh, no, I mean, it's awesome when you get to turn around after you hit a three and you're close enough to give uh, the guys on the back high fives or turn around and look at your buddies in the stands and give them high fives. So it's a good feeling when you hit one right in front of either one of those. Like, when I go in, I just want to do whatever I can to help us as a team. The better that I work with everybody else, the more that um, you can see it on the scoreboard. One thirty seven Mustangs lead at the half. Pandals with some work to do here. Mustangs in their red uniforms. Pandals in the blue, blue. Pop outside, won't go. And White Hathaway with the checkout and that fouled in that action. So here comes Cam Pollock. Simeon, Caldwell, Bates, and Hathaway, the five. Comes out high, Simeon. To Pollock, Pollock gonna take it out high. Bates working inside and the pass skipped by him. Corner three is good. Well, thanks that to was the, Alec Mercer. Thanks to the three ball, the Pandas are not. Not quite out of it. I think they keep shooting well from three and keep this thing a little respectable. Simeon inside the base. What a pass, but a little contact there. The shot went awry. Mejia on the glass and home for two when he got fouled. I'll tell you what, big men never get a call. <laughs> <laughs> There's a ton of contact down the other end. It just, it just doesn't happen. It's like part of the game. They figure they deserve it for <laughs> yeah, exactly. living a life of bigness. Yep. Three-point play finish, 51-43. Stay with us. We'll have the Edge Nutrition play of the game. Going to be hard to choose from what we've seen so far. We'll see yeah. if somebody really stand out with. Certainly had some good uh, overall contributions uh, all the way through. Bates up high and the knee. Simeon got it. Simeon. Beautiful one offense. Simeon's been good. Boy, he just looks so smooth and confident. He'll close out. Three won't go. Bates will get his hand on the rebound, but it's going to be knocked away and out of bounds off the Pandas. Caldwell, dish it back to Pollock. As we said, Cam find a little preseason injury and worked his way through it. Got some stem treatment that uh, helped that out. Hathaway. Oh, well, they don't come out on him. That's dangerous. You can't, you can't run a zone against CM, Rob. It's, they're just going to kill you from outside. But the way they've been driving the ball down inside yeah. is going to open that up a little bit. Strong take. No finish by Green. Caldwell says, I'll do it again. But it didn't go. And Hathaway snuck in for the rebound. 
He'll bring it back out, but he's got his eyes inside. Now they'll swing it around out here to Pollock. Pollock, no look. Hathaway back. Hathaway will launch one. Won't go. That offensive board is kept alive, and there's going to be a call on Pollock, I think. No, it's going to be on Bates. They get Harry. Fifty-six forty-three. Green. They get back outside now. Mustang showing zone, I think, for the first time. Good thing to work on here in the preseason. Broken down the steal, and Mercer did a good job getting it, getting it loose. Two seconds left on the shot clock. They'll get it off. No violation. Bates on the rebound. Pollock got slapped. Hathaway's open. Pass. Comes out high. Pollock dishes inside. What a quick pass inside. Ooh. And Jeremiah Simeon. Oh, Hathaway had the quick steal. 60-43. This is from the corner. Wouldn't go there. Simeon owning the boards. As we said, no live sats tonight, but the uh, Mustangs have really owned the boards. Bates, Harry downshares. Harry powers home. And how, how about the feet again from Pollock right to his right hand? The defender realizing he's out of position has to go over that side, and then the quick spin by Bates. Big make a move. Came over and challenged Allen. Simeon got back on the boards. Pollock. Right side, Hathaway. Hathaway downshifts. Hathaway floats. Got it home. Got harmed. Yeah, sneaky. Tyro Green just went back in. Getting some discussion going on halfway. So we didn't shoot the shots. We got check ins coming all over the place. <laughs> we got too many. Lo Logan Myers, I think we're going on the power play. Dave's been watching too much hockey. Yeah. He's, he's got us on the power play. <laughs> Pull the goalie for the next attacker out. So we got everything settled in. 16-12, second half action. 65-43. 22-point lead. I mean, R Rob, look at look at this second group here for CM. <laughs> that's a good that's a good looking group. We got Burroughs hit a three. 65-46. Ooh, good look. Yeah, good quick hands. Underneath, snuck away by Cato. Downtown didn't go. That was Boros. He's hit a couple. Here comes Birmingham. What an interchangeable, lot of interchangeable players here for the Mustangs. Got several guys that can control the ball. See Birmingham running the point now. They'll dig, big, dig back in on the D here. Haywood's in the game. This is the second group that we saw in the first half as well. On the baseline, slowed in the way. We were impressed with uh, Wilson in the first half, and he comes in and remains active. There he is again, active, but can't control it. Taylor comes out with it. Here comes Taylor. Ball's loose and going to get a push. 65 46, 14 50. see who this one's on. <laughs> P. 
Panda's ball. Cater going to pop there. Won't go. Rebounds underneath. Mustang's looking to go. They'll get it back. Birmingham all the way and lays it in. Ooh, I thought he was going to wham it. He just flashed through. And no defender stopped him. Here they come again. Here comes Birmingham again. Euro through. And they got a block. Again, stuff settled out here. Not sure. Mustang ball. So they'll come out high. Tried to get it to Wilson. Yeah, just a little too late. That was McAllister. Jaden McAllister in the game now. Pandas. And foul called on the, I think it was on the floor. Fourteen, eleven, sixty-seven, forty-six. Alec Mercer, zero in the game. Mejia will check back in the game for the Pandas. Knocked out. Pandas. Good, strong take and finish. I don't know how he got through the mass of humanity, but Essex Taylor did. And he got the basket in the foul. And he gets a three point play. Essex Taylor. Pandas, a little come back here. Pollock with it. Elbow. Left side. Kick back outside. Pollock. Pollock with the rear shot for him, as we said, mostly facilitating, but Cam shows what he can do. He can knock him down from outside as well. 70-49. Pollock with it here. Mustang's decided advantage on the board. It opens up for the take and the finish. Logan Myers, the 6'6 freshman. In the corner. Three there. Knocked home. He's got a couple so far in the game, does Alec Mercer. Coach not happy with the defense that got back that time. 13.05 left. 20-point lead for the Mustangs. We'll take a break. We'll come back. No five, 20 point lead for the Mustangs. Everybody's been rolling in off both benches as that's what this game is for. Keeping track. You saw McAllister had checked in, number 20 for the Mustangs. 
Yankees hustling back on defense. Rocco Chain, who hit a three almost immediately when he came in, number 13, is in the game. Pollock has stayed in to kind of run the ship. Logan Myers, 15. And Eli Bigelow, 6'1 freshman, 5 for the Mustangs. Back outside, McAllister, he's going to put it up and can't really make a play there because there's not much room underneath. Yeah, short, short porch underneath the basket. Yeah, short one. Mejia, got it back off outside here to Mercer. Mercer's been good in the corner. See if they go back to him out there. Step through, that's a nice finish. Wilbur Mejia. 72-54. Pollock. Dips oh, it down pass. underneath. What a pretty pass that was, but McAllister couldn't finish. Now he goes up, gets fouled. Jade McAllister. The Pandas are having difficulty just marking up on guys right now, Rob. And they will... A little winded as yeah, Mustangs yeah, have run exactly. a, lot of, a lot of red shirts at them all game. 11.55. <laughs> Speaking of new, fresh legs, here, new group coming in. See Wilson's in. Malik Foster. A lot of minutes last year as a freshman back in. Harry Bates will come back in. Coach trying out different combinations. Because you never know what you're going to end up having uh, happen in the course of the game. Guys get in foul trouble. You want to play with as many different combinations as you can in the preseason. In the traffic. And Caldwell with it. Back to Caldwell. Boston downshifts. Puts it up. It won't go the finish, I think, underneath. Wilson. Was it Wilson? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, he's, I think he's been one of the best rebounders right uh, tonight here for the Moose, Rob. Yeah, he's been really keeping things alive on the boards. The offensive boards have really been good. There's one thing that uh, Coach Guy need to go back to the tape and take a, take a look at is, is their defense in the corner three has <laughs> been, been non-existent. Fire! Fire! Daniel! Bates holds outside. Now we'll go down low. Fire! 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 Malik inside to him. Harry downshifts, upshifts, reshifts, and puts it home. I mean, what do you do? He went down, got cut off because there was good defense down the baseline, and then he just spins right back into the basket, right up over the top. I mean, yeah, I, I don't well, see a lot of people being able to stop it. You know, when you when your big gets cut off a lot of times, and uh, that's usually the end of his yeah you know play. He's just not going to get it. But uh, you saw Harry be uh, be patient and wiggle and waggle and. On the fly to finish, Malik Foster came flying in. The leads back to 20, 80, 60. And hey, we want to let you know we got softball action tomorrow here from the Turf Athletic Complex. That game will start at 12 o'clock, a doubleheader against CCRI. Now, there are also uh, originally uh, plans to bring you soccer at 5 and 7.30, but uh, per directions of Athletic Director uh, Dave Gagne, we will not be streaming uh, the soccer games against Hampshire uh, College tomorrow, uh, which is okay because it would have been an incredibly long yeah. day. I mean, we're here tonight. We're ba back tomorrow for softball, and then we're going to, you know, uh, set up. We would have had to pull everything out of softball, run down, set up uh, for uh, soccer, and do those games. Uh, not that we couldn't do it, but uh, we don't mind uh, that little uh, time off in the afternoon. And looking forward to softball games tomorrow. That's going to be really good. Well, you know, when, when Dave said, hey, uh, you know, we've got a scrimmage tomorrow night. And we're going to play kind of like a game. And, uh, you know, maybe it might be good to stream. And what he was thinking, Nate, is uh, he wanted to get the JV, uh, the developmental team on. Mm. Uh, those kids, they don't get a lot of streaming time. I don't know that we've ever streamed uh, one of their uh, games. So, uh yeah, we said, well, yeah, we'll come down and do that. And uh, we did. And uh, that was a really good, was a good game. competitive game. Yes, it really was. 
Coach uh, Ruben's got a good squad there. They played hard and uh, persevered. They went behind uh, for one of the rare times of the game with about six or seven minutes left and uh, ended up a, what, 10 to 11 point lead. And uh, that's how it closed out, so. Ten and a half left here. 80-60. But the half, the Mustangs led that 51-37, so they were headed towards a 100-point game. So, so often you see that, uh, you know, in the second half, it just kind of fizzles out. But, uh, you know, they're 20 points away with 10 minutes left, Nate, so they got a shot yeah. at that, and... And the fact, this is a little bit different too. It's not necessarily run the score up because he, you're working through basically three different lines. Yes, and everyone's contributing. So, yeah, I, you know, we don't we don't have the live stats going, but uh, Emily's keeping the book over there. We may check in with her and you know after the game to see uh, how things worked out. But uh, I think we would find out pretty pretty even scoring here. Good checkout. Somebody's down on the floor, and that may be why. Got a call, and Wilson, they, I'm sure the instructions from the Pandas coaching staff said, you see number 12? Yeah. Get him get, off the boards. Yeah, get, get, get a body on him. Yeah. He's leaping around out there like Tigger. Yeah, it's only six fouls, so we're not shooting yet. They could help force the kick out and see if they can make one, and they do credit them. I mean, that's been their offense. They can dribble yeah. down in, penetrate, Mercer. and then I'm going to heave one to the three-point line, and we're going to have one of our shooters take care of it. Yeah, Mercer's done that back cut. Good steal. Well read there, and got to credit Essex Taylor with that defensive read. Five straight for the Pandas, and they say we need a defensive stop. Caldwell take it out high. Bates sets a high pick, but Wilson's got it. Foster. Bates, 11 on the shot clock. He's in trouble. They're playing some good defense on this series. Caldwell takes it all the way across into Foster. He leaves it up and in. In, in traffic, looked like it was going to be a, a shot that can't even go up because the amount of people that were down underneath, but well, good recognition of shot clock running out by Caldwell. Got the dish to Foster, and Foster with the tough finish. He's flying here again. Got the three-point shot. No, we got uh, maybe a travel. I think he stepped on the line. On the line down there, yep. Pass a little bit behind him and probably had to readjust his feet. 82-65. Stay with us. We'll have the Edge Nutrition play of the game and post-game interview. Metamero back at the game. Caldwell stays in. Wilson stays in. Simeon's back in. And Wyatt Hathaway back in. Won't go long rebound and thrown to space. Not a conventional style offense, but they'll take the points out of it. Hathaway walks it up. Caldwell wants a hold. They get in the half-court set. Caldwell gets a pick, but he got cut off. Hathaway now brings it out. Drops it inside to Wilson. Wilson makes room for himself. It goes up. Throws it home. They're going to say he pushed off. Oh, I don't know. I, I didn't see any extension of the arm. I, I just think it was a pretty good... Pretty good move down underneath. Yeah, Mercer drew it. We'll give you a look at this. Let you get into... Back to regular play here. That's the uh, the problem with doing replays. Caldwell stepped in again. They fouled him immediately, as they had to. 
That's going to be five. Wendigi is going to foul out. So we're shifting rosters and getting kids in and Tyrell Green, one's in the game. Ken Ray's right in the middle of a discussion with the Pandas. Caldwell's going to inbound here. They'll run through. Boston says somebody show up. Henry comes back. Hathaway now. Wyatt gets a pick by Wilson. Thought about it. Now we'll get it back out. Now it's skipped inside. Wilson's doubled. Now we get it back off. The Metamero missed the little pop. Green goes and gets fouled. A good athletic play by Green on the afterburners. What league does the academy play in? Do you know? Well, they, they play in a, a prep school league. Okay. They sent me some information. I had a little hard time reading it, Nate. Yikes. Yeah, it was small print. I couldn't. Simeon with the rebound, Caldwell. Hathaway, pop, on that. In rhythm. Wyatt catches that ball in rhythm, and uh, watch out, he's going to drain him. Speaking of in rhythm, but that one spun out. Birmingham to Hathaway. Hathaway inside to Wilson, back outside, and deflected. Yeah, went... Uh, Went off red. Jeremiah Simeon got a piece of that as it went out. Uh, yeah, I think the player of the game is going to be tough to pick. There's so many guys are contributing right I now. I know. And, of course, you know, we don't have the live stats up and active and like we will for regular season, so we're not following that uh, as we normally can and, and give you that. And... Uh, you know, we, we didn't score it ourselves tonight because we had a hard enough time just getting the rosters and the numbers and things of that sort with a preseason game. So, But we know we like watching it. No look pass. Beautiful to Caldwell. That combination between those two players, Rob, that they're going to have some special plays this season together. And that ball got hanging out and almost not and stolen away, but Went off Birmingham. Yep. A little late sat in the clock. Nice thing we have is we are right into the scoring system here at the college and makes everything we put on there the official time, so that really is important. I think when it comes down towards the end of the game and things of that, so you can see exactly what's cooking. Well, the Pandas have fought back a few times, Nate, but when they do that, then you look back up and the lead's 20 again. You know, it's just, yeah. uh, it's really keeping them uh, at a distance. I think they have a core... A good group of core guys. I, I just think they're a little light in their depth. Yeah. You know, to run to run with the with uh, the Mustangs here, obviously. But I I don't know what their league is like. So they might be. I mean, they, there's no question they got good talent on the team. So. In the corner, Caldwell. No. Jeez. 
Birmingham. Birmingham's going to have to watch his head. Holy cow. And he got to Hathaway, and Hathaway banged it home. Gun. Wilson's got the ups. Green with an athletic finish. He's had a few of those tonight. Back the other way. Mustangs to Caldwell. No. And up and over the top. Well, maybe Caldwell got fouled. I guess he got knocked down. Yeah, we, yeah, we we don't see you see that corner better than we do at home. We're, we're kind of blocked here as that left corner, particularly if the benches stand up either corner actually. But. Well, we've had probably what three or four in the two games. I, I'm trying to think what, what the here. rule is. You got to wait till it makes contact with the rim, correct, before you enter, or is it off of the shot? It's not off the shot. It must be off the shot. Off the shot, but they jumped way early. And Coach has, aren't we yes, one and one? No, we got three shots. He shot yeah. a three-pointer. Yeah. And everyone took That's off right. after the everyone second took one. took off after the second one. It's a foul of a three-point shoot, and the officials are laughing at each other. And Everybody's uh, doing their first game, so that's kind of what you get. Everybody's working through some issues. That's included. We like it when we get the live stats cooking up on here. And that's going to help us a lot. Jim Toomey will be along for most of the games here. That's thrown right back to the Mustangs. Jeremiah might have scuffled. Yeah, he did. Candace. Continue to play hard. They're down by 22 with under five. Pop outside, deflected. They'll get a second look at this one. And Mejia will take it in. Good officiating tonight. Yeah. Uh, two crews. Uh, JV game had uh, two officials. They did terrific. Three man crew here at nine. Gentry in the game. He's got it now. Gentry into the corner. Caldwell's left alone. Layup. <laughs> he just can't do it. Uh, <laughs> Look at that little pass little, behind the head there. Yeah, a little no-look pass behind the head, and Cato knocked it down. Pollock. Gentry wants to downshift. He does. Puts it up left-handed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How about that? He can cover a lot of ground. Long reach. Protected the ball well. Rebound deep. Yeah, I think that's a good point that you make, Rob. His, his ability, put his body, and they get the ball away from him. Yeah. Way away from the defender. That's one of the things. If, if, you're, if you're a Mustang teammate of his, you've got to kind of clear it out for him. You've got to get out of his way. I think that's exactly what you want to do. That's a three ball. And that's uh, one of the things that uh, you're going to hang your hat on for Coach Dan Haynes. Uh, his team shot pretty well yeah. from three. We yeah. don't have the percentage. Double team inside. Boy, how about this lineup? The two bigs in at the same time. You just uh, you're just playing volleyball underneath there, like the champion Mustangs, the women volleyball champions this year. 
Very reminiscent of that. Uh, I know they're they're not gonna like this. That Southern Maine team that was real tall, yeah, and long, yeah. from a and year, few yeah, years ago. And we've seen some some tall teams. Uh, and HTI had some uh, yeah. guys that were skyers uh, back a couple of years. Could have hold. Ninety-nine seventy-six, a chance to hit the hundred mark. It'd be Harry Bates, Hunter Brackett, number one checks into the game. His first appearance for the Mustangs. Yeah, you get the two bigs in there, you're controlling the boards. Harry's going to get another. Harry, in now. Foul call, going to get a push. You know, usually you say, yeah, all right, well, we got 76 points scored with 241 left. You're usually thinking that's pretty good, but. So they hit the 100 mark. Two forty. Through traffic and Maya's got knocked off through traffic. <coughs> Coach Gagne wants to take a timeout. So won't we. We'll come back. We'll finish up. 227 left. 100 to 78 Mustangs. to finish this one out. Mustang's got a galloped early. Never looked back. And Myers finishes. Green. Green plays at about a thousand miles an hour all the time, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Off the rim. One or two seventy eight, Cam Pollock. Into the end of the bleachers. And it's going to be a sub. One fifty six. 
kept alive. Up from downtown, Logan Myers. The 6'6 freshman knocks one home. Makes it 105-78. Smooth shooting southpaw, Landon Voros. Outside. Clear the track. Joshua Gentry wants entry. Spun in the trees and. <laughs> How about taking that in? Wow. Tipped alive. Gentry get the almost dunk. I don't know whether he got it all the way up and yeah. down or what. But I just like that yeah. he did that in traffic. Yeah. You know, you can tell that that's what he wanted. How about having a big two that can hit the three? <laughs> that's, that's something else. Was that... Uh, Myers. Myers again. He's had a good final couple of minutes, hasn't he? Knocked home by O'Sullivan. I think that's his third three of the game. Yeah, O'Sullivan, three for three. And Mustangs will just run it out. 112 80 to 84. Mustangs win it. So we're going to get uh, our play of the game, Boston Caldwell, who was on fire from the very get-go here tonight. And get Boston on here. He's our player of the game, but Boston... This thing could have gone to about anybody here tonight. Really good balance. Is that, is that what you've been seeing all the way through preseason, Boston? Oh, absolutely. We have such a strong team this year. Um, everyone's able to come and make an impact all the way 1-17. One, one to 17. Um, So it's one thing that we are really strong at this year as a team. And and we, one, all, yeah. we all just work well together. You know, we all, we all know what we have to do. We all know our roles. And we... So we're really looking forward to the season as a, as a team. Well, it looked like coaches going with some different combination of guys, but I think that's how you practice oh, anyway, isn't it? I mean, that's what you do with yeah. players. You get, you get guys changing all around and all of that and uh, get so you can play with anybody because you're going to have injuries during the course of the yeah. season, illness, and, you yeah. know, somebody's going to get in foul trouble. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we anyone can play with anyone on this team. We've worked, we've worked with it in practice, different combinations, different starting fives. It's, we, we all just gel. One of the things that uh, Nate and I both noticed, because we've, we've seen you guys play over the course of many, many years, you have so many guys with interchangeable types of roles. Yeah. Uh, that that really means everybody can play the same yeah, style absolutely. of game, right? I mean, absolutely. I mean, you guys look like you want to get up and go. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we have we have big men now that like can be on the wing and be in the post. Like we're just so versatile. Where you know we can all shoot, we can all go to the hoop, and we all just trust each other. So. I think everyone everyone just brings their own aspect, which is really, really cool. Well, in the past, you would draw quite a bit of attention and sometimes mm -hmm. get doubled and things of that yeah, sort. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know yeah. how you're going to double anybody out there this year. <laughs> yeah, I mean, right? we have we have new shooters now. We've got new big men. We have dominant big men. You know, if one big man's getting shut down, we have another big man. If one shooter's getting shut down, we have another shooter. We all... We all can just do about everything, to be honest. Yeah, Nate and I got quite a kick out of when you put the two bigs in together here. And yeah, they, they, yeah. Got, they, it was like you, they, those two were playing at one level, and everybody yeah. else was playing down yeah, here, yeah. and they were yeah. playing up here by themselves. Yeah, yeah I mean, we're pretty, we're pretty fortunate to have, yeah. have those guys here, um, you know, 6'8", six, 6'7", six, that can just work well together, and the big, big boys as well, so they can finish at the hoop. Well, we are certainly looking forward to an exciting season Absolutely. here in Mustang basketball. We want to have you come on as, as one of the veterans. I mean, uh, we didn't have our lives asked. We, we have no idea how many points you scored mm -hmm. or how many points anybody else scored but we want to bring you on to, to talk about how the team's coming together yes, as a veteran yes, and uh, and certainly I know that uh, that you're excited for the season yes, and, and I'm excited to be covering you guys again thank this you very year. much thank you Boston okay you. Boston Caldwell he was our edge nutrition player of the game and uh, wraps up a good 
final uh, game here of the night. 112 to 84, the final. So the Mustangs sweep. They win the developmental game as well as the varsity contest here tonight. And uh, that's going to wrap it up here from Munzing Media here at Kirk Hall. And uh, we will be back tomorrow. We have a noontime first pitch. Doubleheader softball action coming up as CCRI will take on your Mustangs. Until then, good night, everybody.